Welcome to Critical Role. Tonight, we return from last week's rather tense cliffhanger of a game. I'm really excited to get that underway. But for those who this is your first time watching, this is a show where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors play Dungeons and Dragons. We roll dice and it's fun. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to have you. Uh, let's kick it off with some announcements at the top of the show for everyone. Um, first and foremost, we have about an, under an hour until the sale for the temporary. Special edition, uh, hashtag, is it Thursday at shirts are no longer available. Um, we're, we're pushing in the upper or the mid 900s Let's see if we can hit 1,000 uh, before the hour's up, guys. So if you haven't got one, you're interested, we'll have information, will be in the chat for it, but uh, it's our uh, hashtag, is it Thursday yet shirts? Soon we'll be gone forever. So grab one if you want. Um, also, to, this marks uh, the anniversary of, uh, of uh, Team Humanism. Uh, humanism, you guys have, have been amazing since the, since kind of the beginning of this whole community uh, through Felicia and, and kind of starting the whole stream thing. It's been amazing to watch this whole community come together. And part of that celebration uh, for today is go out there and tweet hashtag. Uh, what's the hashtag on this one, Luke? Humanism. Look at that. Hashtag <laughs> humanism. That's pretty easy to remember if you're not me. Um, but yeah, write a story about a good deed you did this week. Something that you felt really good about, that you brought a little more joy and positivity to the world around you, or saw somebody else do. And just go ahead and tweet with that hashtag. And uh, at some point during tonight's show, we're going to be giving away one of our, look at that, Critical Role shirts that I'm modeling for you, hey. strangely accidentally for this. <laughs> uh, but I figure at least now you know what it looks like on a relatively unfit male. Um, bear not yeah. included. <laughs> bear not included for now. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead and guys, take a look at that. Go ahead and put some, some positive vibes out there in the Twitter sphere about what you've experienced this year or done this week, and uh, see if you can get yourself a shirt. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, also, wanted to remind everyone that we will be at New York Comic Con, which will be October 10th and the 11th. We'll be doing some cool events on Saturday, uh, as Critical Role, doing some signings, and uh, we're trying to see what the logistics we can do to have an opportunity to visit some of you guys who weren't able to get passes. So we'll have more information coming up soon, hopefully, because we'd love to be able to see you guys who couldn't make it in the actual conventions. We'll figure something out. So keep keep your eye on the internet as things progress. Um, also, let's see, uh, Liam, if you want to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, I talked about this last week, I'll probably talk about it next week, but I wanted to uh, encourage you guys, if you haven't already, to go over to Joe Matarera's Kickstarter for uh, their Battle Chasers game, Battle uh, Chasers Night War. Uh, Joe's a friend of mine. Uh, he's a comic book legend and is also a game developer and artist, and I'm just a big fan, and so they're a friend of the show. A lot of us here are kind of in love with, with Joe, physically, not kind as of, art, just him himself. Of. Yeah, we've uh, had a few. He's a handsome man. And he's, he's, got a, he's got a hashtag thing going right now, so hashtag Battle Chasers 2. That's an awesome thing. Do it. And they they uh, they hit their goal like almost immediately. They're just now making the game is going to be shinier because they're climbing higher. But just go take a look. His art style is is un unmatched, yep. and uh, the game is based is a J is an RPG based on the JRPGs of our youth, and it's going to be great. Go take a look. Yeah, rock it. Thank you, Lee. Cool. Um, also, uh, while our esteemed Ashley Johnson has been away for some time, and our cleric has been missing. She's been doing cool stuff in New York, filming for the new show Blind Spot, which just aired earlier this week. So, if those of you who want to catch our awesome uh, gnome cleric on the fancy big screen, you can go and check out Blind Spot. That uh, airs Monday nights, Monday nights Monday on NBC. NBC. At I think ten our time. Ten our time. Probably. Yeah. I should know this by how much they've been promoting it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you can't avoid the, beer, the, the posters, so uh, I should know. That. So yeah, check that out. Um, we're hoping that maybe she managed to scoot some Critical Role references or memorabilia onto the screen sometime. Fingers Madness. crossed. Um, also, we're going to have at the intermission today a really cool video that is a uh, presentation of when we went and visited and delivered the, uh, the esteemed check donation to 826LA that you guys made possible. So. Uh, we'll have that shown at the break today. It'll give you a really clear idea of the charity 826LA, what it looks like, the people that are there, and a lot of the kids that are involved, and, and what you've helped uh, continue to promote and help grow. So, uh, so look forward to that at the break. Yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, and does anyone else have anything else they want to announce? Uh, I have uh, two quick announcements. Okay. Um, Hello, everyone. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> My first announcement is that I will be sitting on Zach's face mm -hmm. this whole game. Wow. <laughs> I have found the pillow. Oh. I'm sitting on his unicorn stomach. 
<laughs> Marisha's got the stomach. I've got the feet. Yeah. Oh, is it's that funny. What you've got? No, no, no. Marisha, 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 Marisha's got the yeah, stomach. Yeah, and if you, if you do it and I break it, it down, she's, she's, got the first, she's got the feet? second fun part. Okay. I couldn't tell oh. if he was blushing before or after you revealed you were sitting on his face. I don't know. Hard to tell. I think it's after. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's pretty cute. I, know, I, like it. I, know, I know this is because I farted already. <laughs> Also oh, viable. That's, um, yeah. So that's, that's the first viable. one. And uh, everybody uh, check out my Twitch channel with my name. <laughs> there that's you go. <laughs> All righty. Um, we're waiting on our, uh, our esteemed gnome bard to arrive. Oh, yes. Uh, traffic. And when he does, we have a little present for him, which we will reveal when he arrives. Oh, yes. Indeed. Um, but yes. in the meantime, Let's go ahead and kick things off for oh tonight's gosh. episode. Uh, already? Yeah, already. Wait a cool roll. Wait, I'm not ready. Sam? Where's this? What's Sam's? And welcome back. <laughs> 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 you only knew. Uh, it was a chaos. Oh, oh it, is a, it is a well oiled machine, critical. <laughs> <laughs> the yak exactly that happens. We all trade <laughs> seats and then come back really yes, quickly. It's yeah. like Chinese fire drill. It's pretty good. We started doing burpees in between. But I mean, we just burp That's perpetually. Right. Basically, yeah. basically, just burp a lot. Just yeah. a lot of burping. Um, so. Hey the, hey, the gnome is at the door. Hey! The gnome oh. is at the door. Oh. Bring in the gnome! Do you desire a gnome, sire? I, I would sire. like the gnome brought before me. Bring the king a gnome, make sure he is a foul mouth in many a song. Oh, fetching the gnome! No one saw this cupcake. I assure you, sire, this gnome has many songs. A very tiny instrument. And oh God, I feel so dirty sitting on this pillow. Ah! Oh, so comfy. I, yeah. I, I, I like yeah, it. it is. Does somebody it's... have an extra pencil? Yeah. Hmm. All I have is this broken one from Grog's. <laughs> And solidarity. I, I appreciate that you brought it back. It can't, it can't, <laughs> nothing's changed. No, it's a reminder. <gasps> Yay! 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 You made it. Look, your thing's all working. Oh my gosh. It's like we're ready to go. And okay, dice, I'd like right to there. plug a few things. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> However, we do have a present for you. We what? do. We do. We do. Because there have been uh, periods of time which you've complained about not having a proper Stein or mug to match the rest of the group, we figure. Got a Google one. Google one works fine. <laughs> it's a fine. Uh, but thanks to some of our wondrous, celestrious campmates, uh, we were with the Burning Man, uh, they, um, Burning Man. they gifted this unto us to gift unto you as we felt it was fitting and size appropriate. <laughs> Proportionally oh. accurate. Oh. <laughs> You have to measure that out in a regular cup first, and then pour it in. Yeah. 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 You could pour two whole drinks in there, and it would oh just be like like nothing. A half an inch of liquid. Yeah, you gotta wow, get a cup this first. thing's amazing. So thanks, post nuclear family. Well done. Thank you. It's well done. Awesome. It's amazing. Yes. Wow, it's like a hotel ice thing. Yeah, it's, an ice, it's yes. technically an ice it's bucket. Bit bucket. Oh yeah, man, but it I looks like fill a it up size. right now. No, it's up. Thank like you, guys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, <clears throat> so, to get you caught up in what had transpired, um, the party, after traveling abroad in a, the distant city of Vasselheim and the surrounding lands, eventually returned to Iman, their, I guess you could say their central hub city, where they have their Grayskull Keep is constructed to relax and take in a brief moment of respite. Uh, before learning that the Briarwoods, two individuals responsible for much 
uh, apparently responsible for much darkness Stress. and sadness in the history of Percy. Um, we're coming to court within a week to have a <laughs> feast and talk with uh, Sovereign Uriel Taldore. And uh, what are you doing? Lock it up. Jeez. I mean, it just, it, it, like I pour a whole glass in there and it looks like nothing. Good, <laughs> you just gotta keep pouring. Um, so, uh, upon hearing that Byrods were arriving within a week to discuss political matters and enjoy a feast, uh, of course, the members of Vox Machina, who are part of the Council of the Tal'Dori, were invited. Within that week, they made the various preparations, made the various beard checks, made the, beard, the various beard shavings, <laughs> and um, <laughs> it happened. Recap. And um, made their way to the Central Palace, uh, the Cloud Top District of Iman. Uh, the Briarwoods arrived, a feast was put out. However, Percy went in uh, under an illusion to look like uh, Vax over here, while Vax went invisible. Uh, everyone had formal attire on, weapons left at the door, uh, unarmored, dressed for the occasion. Uh, um, no, 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 is that true? Unarmored? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you guys were all dressed in yeah. formal attire. We're not, not armored. We don't even have any weapons. No, we're Do I have to like on, subtract man. things from no, 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 no. our AC? The recap yeah, makes it so much better. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, um, so, I mean, your, your weapons are at the door. They're not on you at the moment. They're at the door? Yeah. So we left them at the door? Yeah, as like part of the checking-in process. Okay, so let's So we can, like, go get them? Question. Just it's mine are on me, right? Since yeah, because you, you weren't in invisible, and you were kind of under the approval of, uh, of the Seeker Asum. Just in, increase my chances by 2%, thank you. There you go. Sorry. And Percy, your weapons are still on you, because you were, had an illusion on you, right? Correct. His oil, well, the, 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 the list is on him, his pepper box. Okay. Uh, Bad news would be a bit difficult for you to bring in here inconspicuously. Right. Diplomacy even. would work would work out well, though. Yeah, yeah I think right. so. Um, so, during the feast, conversations were had, uh, questions were raised, and information was extracted. Uh, Seeker Asum had requested to have been met in the uh, foyer by a rogue here who <laughs> forgot and then decided to go on his own upstairs, following the Briarwoods to the second floor where their guest room was set. Tight, tight, tight. Um, he distracted one of the guards with his uh, serpent belt, knocked out the other, entered the room, and found himself to face to face with the Briarwoods themselves. Who uh, that, that did not lead to further hallway. In fact, that just led to a, a bedroom uh, that, yeah. that ended right there. Yeah, uh, the guard, it went right into their guest room. Right there. Uh, so, after a brief discussion, a little bit of awkwardness. You attempted to leave, but were placed in a holding pattern, if you will, by a hold person spell, and uh, had the two Briarwoods come up to you, whisper in your ear uh, that you had nothing to worry about. You look delicious. Mm -hmm. And that is where. So they could just be. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. They're kind of hot. Right? I mean, they are hot, right? Yeah. So at least there's that. What are we doing? And well, this is well you, guys are, you guys are just now leaving the feast hall um, right. at this period of time. Ooh. Where are we entering to? Oh. Uh, I it's, am you know, it's a, a large foyer area that kind of, it's, it's like there's the main foyer of the palace that splits off into two smaller kind of meeting chambers, and then the, the chamber to the right uh, is what leads into the, into the main, uh, the grand hall, and that's where you guys are feasting. So you're making your way into this kind of. Uh, Hassan? Hassan, the. Uh, the, the, the Asum? Uh, Seeker Asum, yes. Seeker Hassan, is he around? Do we see him anywhere? Ooh. Uh, tell me this, DM. When my invisibility spell is broken, yeah. do I, am I alerted? Do I know that? Do I feel, do I sense it? Oh, it is a concentration uh, spell. You, the, uh, the spell itself would kind of dissipate, as it is a concentration spell. It would be just like a, oh, the spell's gone. Okay, okay. Um, however, before we get to you guys, oh. <laughs> we have more immediate business to end. Oh. Let's play, Matt, let's play. So. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Like I need popcorn. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> your muscles locked in place, sweat beginning to bead down the front of your forehead, the realization of the immediate danger you put yourself in uh, washing over you. You can see across the way, kind of in the, the dark candlelit uh, area of the room by the canopy bed, is uh, Lady Delilah Briarwood, hands still out, kind of smiling at you. Uh, immediately to your left shoulder is uh, Lord Silas Briarwood, who has leaned in and is actually pulling you away from the door now. You're skidding across the ground. As he shifts you, your legs unable to actually move. As he pulls you forward, the Lord kind of whispers in your ear, you are a curious one. 
I'm not quite gifted with the silver tongue. <laughs> Foolhardiness is not becoming of a guest of the Briarwoods. For a moment, there's this kind of pause, this tension, the silence, and uh, Delilah, Lady Briarwood, kind of puts her hand out further and says, Yet, my love, we are not here to make enemies, nor raise suspicion. We are merely protecting ourselves from intrusion. Isn't that right? As she looks at you and looks immediately to your right where you can feel just the general presence of Lord Briarwood. Um, I need you to go ahead and make another uh, wisdom saving throw. First roll. Not an unimportant one. <laughs> not at all. First roll of the night. Could kill Leaf. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey. It's an 18. Close, close, close <laughs> You're so demure How as much? you're saying. I'm frozen. Yeah, 18. I'm frozen. 18. Yeah. <laughs> you feel your muscles relax, oh. and the, the sweat that is still brimming across your face, you feel for the first time in these moments that seem to just stretch on forever, you have control of your body. Though you do feel the hand of Lord Briarwood right on your shoulder, who as he, now at this point, as you become conscious of the fact that you are in control of your physical form, his voice comes very heavily, the bass kind of kicking into your left ear. Mm, indeed. We do require allies. I would have you prove friendship. And as he kind of takes and moves his shoulder away, you find yourself kind of torso moving towards him. Uh, you lock eyes with him. And he has this kind of knowing grin, his lids Taught slightly with this kind of condescending sense of knowing. I need you to go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. Uh, this is technically a charm effect, and you being a half elf, you do, I believe, get an advantage on those. Uh, that is a, a 21. A 21. You feel there's an extension of just the sheer force, some unnatural force of charisma that attempts to penetrate beyond the uh, usual slippery mind that, you know, Vax holds to such a high esteem. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to use. Cut. <laughs> I'll help you next time. <laughs> However, you manage to resist it and feel a wash over you as the slight tingling vanishes and the effect is left to you unaffected by whatever he was attempting to try. Ooh. There's a brief moment as he kind of looks you over. What do you need? Yes. That's so smart. There now. Be a good boy. Looks over. I need you to make a deception check. <laughs> deception check. Come on, roll. Okay, I'm using luck. Okay. I <laughs> okay. made a few. You used a couple yeah, luck I used points one. left. One. Yeah. So I made sure. a lot last game, but we were over multiple days. Yeah. So I just, used one. So you're at one after day. it is. This is my. That was. I'm this about is, to use my. This is your second. second. You'll have one more after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is deception. Deception. Yes. Where did you go there? Ooh, that's not as great. That's a uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Kind of gives you a look. Very well. Apparently the help was not very helpful. At which point you hear this a fast knock at the door and you hear a voice go, are you all right? Is everyone all right behind the door? At which point uh, Lady Briarwood just kind of does this with her finger and the door swings open on its own. Uh, the guard that ran after your belt is standing there holding the groggy, just slightly coming to second guard that you knocked out. And as he kind of pulls him towards the door, he looks over and sees this, and he goes, drops him and goes for his weapon, and Lord Byron puts his hand up and goes, do not worry, we're just having a conversation. Close the door and get him up. Yes, not to worry, sir, and he closes the door, and you hear the scuffling behind the wood of him kind of adjusting and waking up the guard who you had uh, clobbered in the side of the head, getting the consciousness. <coughs> so they're both kind of just looking you over. 
Lord Firewood's kind of just walking back and forth and keeping a very keen eye. He kind of walks between you and the door as you stand there. Almost like he's waiting for a reaction of some kind for you to initiate something. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What can I do to help? I, I, I'm pretty meager a servant, but anything you need, whatever you need, Gosh, you guys are good looking. <laughs> uh, this isn't that, is it? <laughs> you hear a, uh, a, a thirty chuckle from uh, from Lady Briarwood across me. <laughs> no, but oh. what do you think, my love? Lord Briarwood comes up from behind, his hands on the back of your shoulder, and says, Like we said, you haven't the gift of the silver tongue, but I applaud your effort. Well, my mom and dad said I'm a real good speaker. They uh, they paid for like a tutor to to tell to teach me how to, to talk, and it's worked out really well for me in my life. So if you need like uh, like an ambassador or or like a butler who talks, I could do that for you. Lady Briarwood at this point is kind of steps a couple steps closer, still about fifteen feet from you. Yeah, uh, and is, he's he's right behind right you, behind like me. between you and the door. Yeah, uh, she steps forward and kind of looks looks over at at uh, her husband again. And goes, so, what do you think? Can we trust him? And. Uh, Lord Briarwood kind of leans forward, and you can feel like his chin kind of peeking into your peripheral vision. I'm afraid not, it seems. Well, here's the thing you need to know about Uriel, and I take a step back. Into him? No, no, or He's away. Like He's between away. you and the door. Are well, he... does he hold me if I if I turn, if I, well, I just said that, right? right? Here's the thing about Uriel. As you go to move away, to his, his arms that are on your shoulder yeah. just kind of tighten and flex and hold you in place. Oh, you don't want to know? Okay, I'll just save that for later. Roy, roll for color. <laughs> Go ahead and. Uh... Roll for what, Matt? <laughs> oh, don't you? And si since. Okay. Since I don't know what you're going to say, I'm going to say persuasion for this. Persuasion. Oh, I don't know if it's a deception or not. Is the okay. power out of the DM's hands for a moment? Oh, I'm going to uh... use my last luck of the day. Or the last one? Last luck last of the day. Last luck of the day. Oh my god. Dude, walk away. He's coming. Huh. Okay. This is persuasion. Yes. Uh, that's seventeen. That was a big die. You could give me a. Uh, oh shit. Never mind. Do you want an inspiration? Huh? No. <laughs> what are you asking oh, for? Oh shit. What are you begging from the DM, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I said never mind. <laughs> is it begging or is it praying? At no. That point? I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give inspiration. Well, Hardly the other. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I, as you say that. You know, kind of looking at them with this coy look of information about Uriel. They both kind of chuckle in unison. <laughs> shall we? And she gives a nod and goes, I think we shall. Can I roll for initiative? We're now rolling for initiative. Oh, fuck! Oh, 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 what's happening? Fuck! Yo! Yo! Did it go? Okay. Does he have an earring? Yes. yes. He does. So, here you are. We're in range. Right there. <clears throat> Lord Briarwood is behind you. Yeah. Lady Briarwood is over here by the edge of the bed. These are the two windows. Don't this is the layout of the room here. Let's see that doll right there. Uh, as far as you are aware, there are two guards Jenga. outside the door Jumanji. currently. <laughs> so, oh, jalopy. my initiative uh, can only be described as uh, fecal. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh no. It wasn't a one. wasn't a one. That's a, but two. Well, one, one adjacent is what no. you're doing. Six. Oh. Six. One six. adjacent. Okay. One adjacent. All right. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I thought we were out of there, man. All right. So, for this. Good idea. Nice carpet. It really ties the room together. Yeah. <laughs> Delilah kind of steps forward, and you can see there's a slight flash of kind of bluish purple arcane energy in her eyes, and her fingers 
coalesce around, and as she does, she draws her fingers up, and you feel this sudden cold pressure around your body. Um, I need to pull out my spells, so I know what I'm doing here. Uh, I Oh, no. I check my phone too? Hold on. Pulling up his spells. All right. He's going to have all the way he's going to fuck with you. <laughs> that many ways. That's the one. All right, so uh, I need you to go ahead and make a constitution saving throw, Vax. 19. 19, all right. So as she does this, you feel uh, all the flesh in kind of your torso and around your neck, part of your body, all of a sudden begin to dry and crack, as if the life force itself is beginning to wither and be drawn out. It's like it's like the, the equivalent of a plant drying out and dying very fast, but it's your flesh instead. Um, you go ahead and take. Sounds like blood. You take uh, twenty-one points of necrotic damage. Yeah, that's blight. Um, and she's gonna go ahead and just kind of step this way, kind of like ra- after that she backs up and kind of grabs the edge of the, little, the post in the side of the bed and kind of just looks at you with this grin. Uh, at that point, as you, uh, you tense from the pain, uh, Silas immediately kind of whips to one side and with an unarmed claw attack, that like, giant fist is gonna come to you on the side of your torso. That is going to be a uh, 21 to hit. That hits. All right. Uh, for this, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage as this fish just <laughs> socks you on the inside of your chest area, kind of hitting the sternum, and you feel like a slight pain crack sound as it hits and impacts against the leather. Um, as you pull forward with unnatural speed, whoosh, the hands are back on your shoulder, and you hear this little voice say, Bon appetit. Uh, that is going to be a. 25 to hit. All right. Uh, okay. This is going to be. Uh, okay. You take six points of piercing damage as suddenly you feel two extremely sharp, warm prongs <gasps> jut in the side Whoa, of your throat. Oh, they are! Um, and that same cold sensation you felt across your torso all of a sudden begins to pull from the neck and you feel as if the very warm blood around your throat begins to drain from it. You take oh. an additional 12 points of necrotic damage. Necrotic. And your maximum hit points are currently reduced by 12. Okay. Max oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yes. oh, they're sucking the life out of you. Okay. Oh, oh shit. If they get you done to nothing, you become a vampire. It's your turn. He said he's holding you, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he currently has you, uh, Actually, this this will be part of his, his unarmed attack. Uh, no, he does not have you. He does not have you grappled currently. No, doesn't he, have he did grapple. No, he's kind of over the shoulders. Okay. That's a bonus action. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use cunning action, rogue's cunning action, to disengage, mm-hmm. which means nobody can swipe at me if I run. Correct. Okay. Uh, there's a window. Last week you said there was a window to the courtyard. Uh, there are two windows on each side of the room right there. Okay. I am running straight at the window, and as I run, uh, I just, yeah, pass them. Don't go anywhere near her, and I'm, I'm using dash. As your uh, action. Yeah, and I'm just okay. leaping out the window and saying, Jenga. Jenga! <laughs> <laughs> Jenga! Jenga! Fireball. As you run past, you can see there's 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 this moment where it's almost like they're just kind of letting it happen. There's no momentary aggression or frustration to this as you dart and out the window, falling from the second story. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Oh God. Good blood. Yeah. Uh, that is a, a thirty. <laughs> that's a thirty-two. That's it. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Do I even stop running? <laughs> <laughs> you hit the ground with a tumble, and you get up, and you continue to move forward. Parkour! Um, parkour! 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 So at this point, you've, you've pushed into the courtyard now. You can see there's the, the cobblestone uh, kind of road that surrounds the outskirts of the palace. There are a few bits of light, and you can see there's the carriage they came in, horses still attached, and uh, the younger man who kind of led them inside, who was riding the coach, is like kind of almost napping on the front, who's now looking over spooked 
at the sound of shattering glass as it clatters and crown around you. Um, Fucking nice. So Fucking that nice ends Liam. your turn. Everyone else, you hear Jenga whispered through. Those of you who have the earrings on. <laughs> He's in trouble. Game time. time. Let's go. Wait, where, 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 what's going on? Where, and now we hear shattered, we, shattering glass, don't we? Do we uh, hear not it? from this part in the palace. You're too far away from. I it. start running towards the door to grab weapons, and I'm saying into my ear, "Where are you? What's going on?" I'm, I'm by the bartender saying, "I ordered a large, please. Can I have a, a slightly larger one, please?" <laughs> oh, oh shit, oh shit! I, um, I, I turn it into. I'm gonna go eagle, and I start scouting the halls, looking for them. Okay. And I'm running with them towards the door. I, I don't know what, am I able to talk further? I'm like, I don't know how much this is combat uh, round. That, that's about as much as you got out from yeah. this combat round. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because it was a very, very quick series of, it took all your effort to even get out of that situation. She and I are booking it for the door. Yeah, yeah. we're booking it for the weapons. So you guys go for it, you, you run towards the front, and, and the weapons are being held in this kind of storage area off to the side that is used for storing weaponry and armor for people who arrive and shouldn't be wearing them in you know, very social events. So you guys head that way. Um, you're getting a big drink? Yep. <laughs> I, I'm heading to wherever I saw the Briarwoods taking off whenever they were leaving. Like, down Actually, that did hall. you turn into an eagle? I Can did. Can you carry me? No, I don't think so. Her, it yeah. big. I can take the gnomes. It's fine, I gotta go get my gun anyway. Right, so, you you You're still burst through the hall and head up the way. As, as you do, you can see uh, some of the other uh, servants kind of glance around suddenly. Uh, as you kind of whoosh up the stairs, I you... poop on one of them as I go over. <laughs> okay. Why would you poop um, on a servant? As you're as you're gliding up 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 the staircase, leading to the second floor, there are two servants. Uh, one kind of darts out of the way. The other is kind of looking. Well, up it's, one of the, it's one of the Brightwood servants, right? Or no, is no, these, one these are the servants. Oh, oh, oh no, I want to save it for if I fly over one of the Brightwoods. Yeah, it's already done. The shit's been loose. Never mind, it's fine. We'll let it go. Um, <laughs> first, so as you as, 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 yeah, as, as you as you coast up. <laughs> Releasing your 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 your. It's true. <laughs> your, <laughs> your avian payload. Um, nice. And, uh, on, on, on the stairs, you can see looking kind of jarred and and confused, uh, a human woman, brown hair, freckles, kind of mousy looking servant, kind of looks up, and reaches up as you kind of spatter the side of her shoulder. Oh, that's so sad. That's me saying sorry. <laughs> I see what's going on. It'll never be clean. <laughs> uh, you're flying. I cast fly okay. myself. I follow suit uh, behind her, and as I'm passing by the person she shot on, I cast precipitation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and then, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> the 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 keyless spatter vanishes through arcane means. Um, <laughs> however, the servant the begins to give chase up the stairs day. after you guys. Not angrily, but just like following to see where the action right. is going. Like, What's going on? All right, you head over, meet up with them to grab yeah. your weaponry. Oh, your weapon uh, was probably on you from the uh, bad news. Hiding, not, so. yes. Oh, bad news was not. No, so you go ahead and you grab yeah. bad news and pull it off the side. Don't That's your guys' action now. So, <laughs> as you are out front. That's not what we're doing. Uh, Knock you out before that. The, uh, Lady Briarwood's kind of. We're running towards the window. Right at the window. That kind of looks down for a second and, and uh, I need you to go ahead and make another wisdom I don't saving throw. I'm not metagaming. Like <laughs> other people, we might. Uh, that's, a, that's a 13. A 13. So as you get up, you say, Jenga. <laughs> Familiar feel comes over you as your muscles once again lock into place and you kind of fall over from the, from the momentum of the, the run, going face down into the cold, like kind of dew covered grass in this courtyard area, unable to move. Rich. <laughs> uh, in a similar dash fashion and uh, leaping out of the broken window that you left. Uh, Lord Briarwood <laughs> onto the ground next to you. <laughs> like three point landing, oh. kind of stands up over you with this grin. Um, that will be his turn, though. Um, at this point in time, one of the uh, the bookcases, or the, uh, the um, you hear this this sound real fast, this, this sound of, of wood being slammed open and a surprise noise. That's all you hear from your perspective in the distance. Um, all right, so uh, as you guys get your weapons, you begin going where? I guess running towards the Briarwoods room, that's... Okay, that's where you saw them leave? All right, so, yeah. you, so you guys head up the stairway, following behind where you saw Keyleth and Tiberius rush off to. Are you following behind the rest of them? Yeah, I put my, my mug down and I start, you know, <laughs> little, little leg waddling towards, towards the... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, right. and as I go... Uh, I'm gonna send a message. I use message 
to... What's the guy who... Who's the guy? Who's the guy who likes My name is Vax. It? No, not Silas. Yeah. Liam. Silas? No, not Silas. Uh, As, As, Seeker Assam? Oh, Hassam? Seeker Assam. Seeker Assam. With, uh, with message, I believe the person has to be within visual range. Oh. Wait, no, you can cast through solid objects. If you're familiar with the target, and they'll be on the barrier. So you know it's 120 foot, though. You don't know how I don't far. Know where so you can give it a shot. Okay, so I, I just say, uh, uh, something's gone awry. We may need you right away. Okay. And that's it. And Messages delivered out into the space. Hopefully, it found its recipient. As I'm running towards the Briarwoods room, I start shouting Uriel and grab a servant and say, "Go find Uriel. Tell him there's enemies within the gates, in the castle." The servant connect. Oh. Now. Yes. 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 yes lady, lady Vex, right away, and then runs off. Um, uh, you guys coast up the stairs, right as you reach the top of the hallway. Over here, you can see there are two guards that are currently standing at the door. Um, I stay at the front door. Is the door open? Uh, the door is currently closed. But uh, you guys both, you're in eagle form, so you're gonna be <laughs> doing gonna like cruise. eagles do. Whoosh. I'll say you're about there. The you're a little, little, little bit ahead Those of Those are the guards. Sweet. There's the two what guards right there. Okay, at this point now, these guys up? As, as, oh, yeah. as, as, as this happened, I need you guys to go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> That's good for you. It's okay, yeah, thanks, Percy. 10. 17. <laughs> Double digits, well done, you. <laughs> well done, you. I, Keyleth. It's been a week. I, I, I know, I love Keyleth, you. you got 10, you said? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna die. Okay, um, so that current circumstance that brings us as they're rushing up, uh, you would be finishing off the end of the last round. So you now, uh, another wisdom. you can make another wisdom. Whatever. I failed it. Okay, you still you can like just see the little bit of moonlight up in the sky, and it's kind of this ominous image of not knowing if your friends are coming, not knowing what's happening. All you know is you cannot move your physical form, and looming over you is Lord Briarwood, kind of standing and getting to move into Neil. Um, that'll end your turn. All right, uh, that brings us to the top of the round. Um, uh, this will bring us to Lady uh, Delilah is now going to step out of the glass and kind of leap down, trying to catch herself, um, and falls flat on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like smacks on, like ah, <laughs> gets herself up from the ground. Um, it's a uh, yeah, she okay, she, has, she has used the rest of her movement, just getting back up from from prone at that point. Uh, <laughs> How very just we. So she, she's right there, but you but you see now in the the window above her a small humanoid figure, a uh, familiar one that was waiting for you earlier in the foyer, who apparently was hiding inside <gasps> one of the. Uh, dressers inside the room. Oh. C group, C group. Is oh. yes. there. Uh, Lady Briarwood is oh, going to message. take the rest of her turn. She has one action left. Oh. What a creep. Awesome. <laughs> With this, she looks over to you. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It says, uh, when we mark a target, it does not escape, I'm afraid. Oh. Um, Let's see what this does. Wait, I All right, this I need you to make a constitution, another Constitution saving throw. Uh, gubba, 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 nine. Roll nine. a different star, roll a different die. This doesn't do anything. Yes, it does. It's random. The universe, <laughs> yes, the universe, it does. The universe is random and doesn't care about you and me. <laughs> All right, so. That is true. Life for, lessons by For proving role. anything tonight. Stay in school, kids. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing matters. Oh. Life. A lot of rolls. <laughs> it's not true. A lot of rolls. <laughs> Objection. It's not rolling. Okay, uh, you take 34 points of necrotic damage. Yeah, okay, I'm unconscious. What? Already? Yeah. But it's, I, I, but it's I've been knocked down in ages, <laughs> so it's not, Equal, just talking the math, it's not You're equal. You're unconscious, and then when it comes back to your next turn, you have yeah. to make a death saving throw if you fail three. Right, so it's only if it like exceeds my hit point maximum if I'm killed outright, so I'm unconscious. You are unconscious. Yes. Hey guys, I'm unconscious. Yeah. So that means he never got his I'm right here message out. No. 
But we know he's in the room. That's where we're all heading. Except me. Well, he's we out. Out. He's not in the room. I'm at the front he's door. We don't know where he is. At this point. We just said Jenga. So well, we're heading to the room. As Wait. The, the turns happen. Wait. As that happens, and as my consciousness fades away, <laughs> I don't say anything, but here's what I think in a split second. Okay. okay? I think of my friends that I've spent so much time with. I think of Keyleth. Beautiful. Walking under the trees. I think of my twin sister. As a young girl. Folding at linens with our mother. I think of my sister is it an adolescent in lessons? Smarter than me. I think of the woman that she grew into, hiking over many, many, many miles together. My best friend. My best friend, Exalia. And before I can think no more, I say a prayer to Saren Ray to watch over my friends and keep them safe. Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. With that thought cast out, the darkness swallows your vision and unconsciousness takes you into the cold, wet grass on the floor of the courtyard surrounding the palace. A small shiver runs down your spine, Vex, a feeling you haven't felt before, a feeling of sudden and immediate, sourceless dread. And in that instant, you know there is almost no time Um, uh, can I use Hunter's Mark then and sense where uh, Lady Briarwood is at that moment? Yeah, you, she is actually, at this point, beyond the palace walls. You can sense, like, like knowing the palace wall, and you've been through this a while, you were expecting the second floor, it's that direction, but it's just outside the walls of the palace. And you guys just got your weapons. I and, take like, off just running that stairs. direction. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have people who haven't rolled initiative yet, go ahead and roll initiative, just so I can put you on the, uh, on the timing chart here. Rock? Uh, 17. 17, nice. All right. Uh, 17. 17, look at you guys. 16. All righty. I hadn't um, rolled, actually, before that. And, what's that? I hadn't rolled initiative yet. Oh, then go ahead and roll initiative. 18. 18, all right. And uh, as you guys are Coming up into the hallway at this point. Uh, let's see. All right, so Bex and Grog, you guys rush out into the courtyard area, making your way out of the front. Some of the guards can see you dart by and they go to stop you, but they see you going where they go and they recognize you and let you pass. Um, so that will be for uh, for Scanlan, Grog, and Vexalia. Your turn is making your way around to the outside. They're using a full run action. You haven't crested the outside of the palace yet, you don't see anything but you're starting to make your way around the corner. Can I use my earring during yeah. that? And I tell Keyleth and Tiberius that I think they're outside the palace walls. Okay. Copy that. Wait, <clears throat> did I hear that? Or do you have your pieces of Yeah. Then yeah, you would. Uh, if and I'm I don't run. <laughs> I dimension door out, outside of the palace wall. Okay. Uh, I will say, go ahead and make an intelligence check. Just okay. roll a d20 and add your intelligence modifier. I'm following you. you Not good. On the outside. Oh, wait. Seeing how fast she's running. I go into a rage. Oh wait. Okay. It says I have advantage on intelligence saving throws. This is not a saving, saving throw. It's a check. Yeah, then no. Eight. Eight. Okay. Um, so you manage to <laughs> dimension door into an outhouse. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Wrong As place. opposed to being directly outside, because you haven't seen this part of the palace, you're not really have it in visual range, uh, you haven't visited the side, you end up trying to come over into this area, you end up appearing right up here inside the room, <sighs> looking at the window, and you can see down, suddenly you look about, you're in this room, to the left of you is Seeker Asum, who doesn't even notice you're there, and he's kind of uh, currently putting away a crossbow. Um, looking out the glass window, you can see down, with just a little bit of light that's down in the courtyard, you see uh, Lord Silas Briarwood looming over what looks to be the currently unconscious body of Vaxalan. That's right, it's so dark outside. Yes, it is. Um, so, uh, bringing us back to this point now, that's uh, that's your guys' turn. Tiberius, you're up. Does anyone have eyes on Vax? Anyone? I do. Skeleton! Do I? Do I? Yeah, you, you do. Can up the window. Yeah, you do. Okay. I think I do. Uh, where are you, Scanlon? Uh, uh, inside, inside a room. I don't know where I am. I, I don't know where I am. It's a nice-looking room. Yeah, I assume you're in the chamber. So I'll be right there. Fireball to those guys right there. Right there. Yeah. All, All right. right. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah, they did not make their saving throws. I know uh, them. But be, uh, I wanted to say, right, come on, quick, right before that, I, I wiggle my decanter of water and I start charging it. Like, mm. that's it. And then I do fireball. Okay. What? <laughs> a decanter of water? Yeah. It looked like Endless you rubbed, water. rubbed your nipple a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take so roll your damage on that. How much is that? Still right here. I. Oh. Well, that also open up, widen up the hole into that room. We'll see, I guess. Nice. Hopefully. Nice. Oh. Real nice. Oh, nice. Or it can just make a big wall of fire. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, and it burns. Nope. Burns. Burns. Burn. Yeah, these are just douchebags. They're just douchebags. Okay. A wall of fire. Okay. What is that? Right. Okay. So there's. Uh huh. Fifteen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay. Uh. One of them gets blasted and thrown almost off his feet and pushed back from the sheer force five foot that direction. The one that's the side of the doorway, who was already at one hit point, barely brought <laughs> from being knocked unconscious oh, by right. Vex, you hear a scream, <laughs> and this turned to ash. It's charred armor left clattering across the ground. What about the door? Uh, the both doors are <laughs> blown open from the yeah! top of the explosion. Good. And I rush a, right in. A large portion of the room is currently uh, like singed with black. Um, what's your fly speed on uh, fly? Feet. 30 feet? Yeah. All right, so you can go. That's as far as you can get that Damn turn. Uh, can that dude see me from where I am? Uh, he can currently see you, yeah. Good. I turn to him and like, you better get the hell out of my way! And that's my turn. <clears throat> okay. Also make intimidation check. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 Run away! Go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. 23. Yeah. Uh, he's, from what you can see, like like the, the helmet itself kind of guards part of the face, <laughs> but you can see from like the charred, uh, slightly angered, gritting, you know, expression on his mouth. He looks at you as you shout that. The grittiness goes away, and the jaw kind of opens slack and takes two instinctual steps back into the hallway. Run, run, um, bitch. Does not appear to be interested in threatening what just blew his friend into ashes. Cremated him. Peeking <laughs> 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 out, just goes. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, from yeah. be- from behind you. Uh, as, as you're flying over, you see the servant comes rushing up, the, the female one that you saw earlier on the stairway, uh, rushing forward, um, seemingly with, with, with an intense look of, of, of what went from curiosity to now uh, engrossed in this current circumstance. Uh, Kit, if you want to go ahead and take your place. Right. Wait, what's going on? Wait, what? what do we see? What's what? going on? What? what just happened? This is where she comes in? We're just kids sit. Sit. sit right here. Who's this person? Oh, I'm really sorry I pooped on you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was shitting on you. I, cl- I cleaned you up, don't worry. You never know who you're shitting on. You That's true. Really should think Can I ask about a question? That. Lessons of life. Um, true that. I didn't say I left him at home. Did he well, like wait outside of the palace dinner. during the formal dinner? Uh, Trinket would not be at the dinner per se. But I, he would have stayed outside of the palace, right? Uh, Trinket would probably be kept somewhere near the stables, a proper place like where the people can watch over your animals. He eats at the table with us all the time. Yeah, Trinket's but Uriel. Not in the middle of the grand hall of the palace <laughs> about Taldore, sorry. Trinket's a boy. She taught him to sit in a chair. <laughs> a a so you. So. Um, we say about as you rush in, you see this giant fireball blast through the middle of the hallway. Two of the guards are sent off to the side. There's this hurried look and this shout. And you, you've seen these individuals throughout the palace before, and you know they're, they're part of the council. Um, you've always kept a distance from them, just kind of keeping, you know, you're a servant to the palace. Uh, you want to keep up appearances for many reasons. 
Um, however, right now, suddenly there's this rush of energy and kind of this general sense of dread in this corner of the palace. And you know, for the most part, just judging by this, um, you didn't like the Briarwoods when they arrived, and you think things are going wrong here. So, what are you going to do with your turn? Uh, can I can Kill I everybody. can I join in the fray? Oh yeah, well you're you're right over here in the hallway. It's kind of hard to see from this perspective here, but you're right over here. Okay. DM, who is this person who's just joined us for the audience? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. This is, we don't know yet. This is uh, well, well, this we is Kit know. Bus, who is yes. our, our our official yeah, artist for artist. Critical Role. <laughs> In from the UK to join us for one session. Yay! That's the United yes. Kingdom. Where the real accents come from. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's going to be doing the worst American accent. <laughs> what's, what's going on around here? <laughs> so, uh, so you're over here. Okay. There's, there's one guard over here, and these doors are blown open into what seems to be where all the energy's kind of going. And you have a good sense of the flow of energy and emotional tension, and right now everything's kind of pushing in that direction. Okay, uh, could I... Could I use my turn to dash to you get could. through the doors? Let's see. That'll get you right there. You can just look past the doors and they're blown open, and that'll that'll be your turn there. That's perfect. Um, but as you glance inside, you can see uh, the the no member of, of uh, Vox Machina is there currently at the edge of one window. The left window is shattered on this side, and Seeker Austin, who's another part of the uh, the council, is right at that. And kind of looks over her shoulder and looks at you and goes like. <laughs> you see, look like. What are you doing? No, go, go, stupid servant. <laughs> um, that's your turn. Okay. All right. Uh, that brings us to Percy. Where am I? So you were rushing up, uh, rushing outside with them, or you're yes. rushing up the stairs? Uh, r- rushing outside with them. Okay. So yeah, you'll just catch up with them. They're kind of on the outskirts, just cresting around the side of the palace here. Um, all right. What am I? Am I just there, or am I off the map? Uh, you're, you're, you're in theory like off the map on this side. I'll, I'll get to that shortly. It's, you're rushing as fast as you can, but you just exit the front of the palace and kind of spent your whole turn rushing as fast as you can around the side. It's a long distance, and you're putting all, right. all well, the energy. I have a very you. long range. I saw me, but, but, but you have right. no uh, you have no visual, unfortunately. Okay. All right, that brings us to uh, hmm. Silas. Damn it! That dick. All right. No, no, that's Silas. This is, sorry. Um, before Silas is the um, Seeker. So, Seeker Awesome. Seeker Awesome? I hope he's uh, awesome. Assume. He's pretty awesome. <laughs> he's going to assume. leap down here. <laughs> Don't be an ass. <laughs> <laughs> make an ass of you and me. He's going to make his own acrobatics check, which he does with flying colors, because rangers are cool like that. Um, a ranger. An old like, ranger. ranger. Uh, lands immediately and. Uh, Angrily rushes forward, going, "No!" and kind of attempts to faint into an attack. And uh, as kind of Lord Briarwood kind of puts up his hand to attempt to deflect with preternatural speed, he's whoosh out of the way. Awesome has instead reached down and grabbed the unconscious body of uh, a Vax, and is going to attempt to move you away from here. Uh, Talos does get an attack of opportunity. Uh, against you. Oh shit! Uh, that's a seven. Sixteen. Do I make a death saving throw? Or yeah. What's my armor class? So this is this is um. What's, what's your armor class? Because right now. Seventeen. Seventeen. Unconscious. I'll say there's no dex bonus to that because you can't move out of the way. So that would be fifteen. Oh sorry, twelve. So it hits you. Um. Uh. I already rolled for that. So you immediately take a death saving throw. Instantaneously. Wait, by key. What? Doesn't get to roll? Yes, no, so you I roll. So you failed one. Failed one. It just fails. Yep. Yeah. All right. Fuck. All right. Fine. Now it is uh, Silas's turn. And we. Uh, no. I mean, Silas's turn. <laughs> that was Seeker. Now it's Silas. No. That was Seeker. Seeker's no, turn. Silas, Silas got to no. take a turn. He, t- Silas got to get a free attack as he moved out of range to try and hit him. Nope. Uh, Silas. Rushes up to join the fray there. Um, he's going to. Uh, let's see. He's going to look towards Seeker Asum and say, This quarrel is not with you. As Asum kind of looks over his shoulder, uh, Asum 
relaxes his grip. Oh, son of a. his body and kind of stands to attention, and you just hear him say, My apologies, I did not mean to meddle. And seems to be kind of stepping out of the fray. See how soon is? Yes. <laughs> um, that's the charm action to get him out of that. That'll be Silas's turn. Uh, that brings us to Keyleth. Okay, um, I'm going to go double my speed, which my fly speed is 80 feet right now, and I'm going to head towards to pick up Scanlan. Okay. Okay, I will say, um, go ahead and make a just general dexterity check. You're flying in a very tight quarter. Tight quarters. Here is a, is a giant eagle flowing through. I can so the room like was very large last week. He said it was very large. Dexterity saving throw, you said? For yeah. dexterity from yeah. as my eagle form, right? Yep. Uh, 12? No, 12? Okay, that's fine. Okay. You manage, you clip a wing, it hurts, and you wince at the impact, um, but you manage to just kind of make your way in there. As you whoosh, whoosh come down, you grab Scanlan, but there's not a lot of room here to get you know, much lift or air, so you're now kind of clutching uh, your gnome by this by this. Would I get window a save? Uh, do you not want to be grabbed by her? Well, I don't know if she's there. It's true. Uh, so I, I don't know what's grabbing me. I mean, you've seen me turn see into a, a an eagle. I don't. I'm not even looking at you. Angry, All I hear is angry eagles. Is yeah. Go ahead, make, an, make an inside check. Inside check. Yes. Okay. Not good. Five. <laughs> Five. Okay. Yeah. You see <laughs> this giant eagle comes screeching into the room. Nope. Talons out and Zero. starts coming at you with talons. So, be mindful of that. Um, <laughs> you know, a grapple contest. Yeah. So go ahead and make an athletics check. Yeah. Um. Oh. An athletics check yes. with my eagle, which yes, is eagle a, just is that dex or strength? Be strength. Okay. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check to avoid. Choice one. Or another athletics, your choice. Or athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Your Fifteen. Choice. Fifteen. As much as you try and fight, the eagle grabs you. Your tiny gnome form is grasped in its claws. Um, <laughs> oh, woe is this evening. <laughs> <laughs> First I got a small drink, and now this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that finishes Keyleth's turn. Did you make a second death saving throw? God damn it. Uh, I succeeded. Okay, so you're you're stabilized. Wait, the, I'm at one? Oh, not stabilized. You, like, like, I didn't like, die. Not, you didn't die. I did not die. You didn't die more. My apologies. Yeah. Um, all right. Does that stay at two? That's good, that's good. That's good. Bex. You swing bags. around the corner, just getting to the outskirts and in the darkness. Right as I get outside, I, if I could whistle, I would whistle, but Vex can whistle, yep. and she whistles for Trinket. Okay. Uh, you're not sure what Trinket is. No, but I whistle it. for him. You whistle for him, okay. He knows to listen All for right. it. All right, so uh, we can, <laughs> if you want to get as close as possible to the fray? Yeah. Yes. And I'd say as you turn the corner, that'll get you about there, and you can see now there is uh, Seeker Asum and uh, uh, Lord Briarwood are both kind of standing over what looks to be a small cluster of cloth. Uh, the dread, the source of the dread kind of takes oh! I scream, and can I can I attack? Uh, you can, yeah. That, that, that yes, I did. Yeah. Um, okay, if I if I did something that did um, five feet of damp, no, that did ten feet. I gotta look at this. Yeah, ten feet. If I hit Lady Briarwood, would that hit my brother, or would that just hit uh, Bastard her? Briarwood? Uh, no, that would just that would just hit her. Oh, within ten okay. feet, it would hit Seeker and Silas. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Oh Jesus! Right. Lightning arrow right at her face. Don't miss. Okay, go for it. Roll for it. <laughs> Don't, Don't miss. miss. That's right. Oh well, that's hard to uh, tell. That's that's, a, that's kind of wedged. Yeah, yeah. That's honestly right, a weird shit. overall. Twenty. Yeah! 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 Yes. It comes through your veins in an attempt of vengeance at what apparently seems to be your twin brother at death's door. You pull the arrow from back your quiver as you feel like the energy gather from the the atmosphere around you. While the energy itself is like a blue crackling energy, you just see it as bright, vibrant, crimson red, and you release it with a scream ah! towards Lady Briarwood. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Uh-huh. And what do I do? Times two because uh, of. Yes, times two. Uh, so, she was 32. 
32 already. Damage on her. And then everybody within 10 feet takes. has to make a deck save. Oh, shit. Uh, I. So, uh, well, he doesn't. It's not get, him? Uh, no, that's not him. He's not, he's not, not in fine. it. Um, anyway. So it would be. Thank God. Uh, all right, so. And Hunter's marked her. Right, so she does additional damage. Go ahead. Fuck one. One, okay. <laughs> Um, that's Every fine. little bit counts. <laughs> so uh, the air lightning hits her. It looks, it, it shocks her, and you see the pain come through. But for the sheer force that should have been, it seems almost like it wasn't quite as impactful as it should have been. Electricity. She's got some sort of uh, magic resist or something. Electricity. Uh, however, uh, both. Uh, well, let's see. Some sort of energy resist. Yeah, there's a two. Lord Briarwood and uh, Seeker Osum both fail, so they both take the nice. additional damage. Oh, good. Um, then two d8 for them. Uh, nine. And then times two, because it was critical? Uh... 18. <laughs> sure, I'll... Uh, <laughs> haggling, haggling, haggling. Uh, <laughs> and do I get another attack, though? Yes? You do. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna attack with your my blazing bowstring. <clears throat> yes! <clears throat> Natural 20! Yes! Yes! Oh! 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 It's fired yes! by my brother! <laughs> <laughs> you certainly in, in, oh, invoked the fury tonight. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> it's real. It's a moment to have it. All right, go ahead. She loves me. She really yeah, loves do. me. Is this, against, is this against Lady Briar? Nice. follow up on that? This is a, yes, of course All right, it is. go for it. Okay. Eight plus seven is 15, plus two for brazers, so that's what? 17 times two is 34. Hunter's Mark. Plus is Hunter's Mark damage, which is another fucking six. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> <laughs> Wow. No, she would love to raise. Oh my. Um, well, she. Oh. She's no, no, no. No, it is forty. It's, it's forty down. For yeah. uh, she, um, she succeeds. Um, well, no, there's not. She's not concentrating because he's unconscious. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about this, the the whole person's spell, oh. but she's not concentrating that currently because you're unconscious. She's a fire. Um, but she is actually lit on fire. Oh, which I should say what her blazing the blazing glowstring does, huh? Which. Yeah. An additional D10 of damage for that. Would I, that have been the in the part of the part that was multiplied by two? No. Damn it. And is another six for that. All right. Does Seeker assume get a save now that he's been hit to shake that charm? Uh, it has to be damage from the allies of the person who charmed them. Oh, okay. So no, okay. you guys are currently considered a threat gotcha. to him. Uh, all right. So that ends your turn. Uh, that brings us to that was amazing. Uh, Delilah. Delilah, again. Delilah is now on fire. God damn it! Um, when did we fucking turn to these guys? Oh, now, don't look at me like that. Now, Laura, yes, blazing bowstring. Does that ignite her? Does she take continuous fire damage, or is it just one-time fire damage? That's no, just the additional one d ten once. Say yes. Say yes. Yeah. She shr- no. She shrugs off the flames. I remember that. <laughs> she um, does. She shrugs off. Angrily. Uh, she is going to. Can't ignore that. Yeah, fuck that dress. She sees you. <laughs> as, as, as like the electrical energy and the flame dissipate, she puts her hands out like this, and she kind of looks at you for a second, and she extends one cruel finger towards oh. you with a look of intense hatred. Um, I need you to make a Constitution save. Oh, okay. Let me make sure that this actually, whether she has to aim it or not. Let me double check. What? Nope, you just make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. 15. No, wait. 17. Woohoo! 17, okay. Not bad. It's not enough. Not bad. Mm. Uh, uh. Oh man, that's a lot of rolling. Yeah. Carry three. So much mana. You take 66 points of necrotic damage. Oh! What's as the a sickly uh, beam of black energy just streaks out from her finger, plows into your torso, and you feel as if your soul is temporarily pulled from a portion of your body. Are For a second you there, your eyes glance past the threshold of death, and you manage to pull yourself back in. What the fuck are these people? Um, Son of a bitch. The cold resonates through the rest of your body, and all of a sudden the temperature outside, which was already pretty chilly, now feels freezing cold. Brush of the finger of death. All right. Uh, she is going to move over towards Silas right here. 
um, kind of almost getting in a protective standpoint here, glancing down at the unconscious body of uh, Vax. That brings us to... We have uh, Grog, Tiberius, and Scanlan. So, who wants, who wants to do things? I'm going first. first. All right, what you fucking got? Fucking shit. She got I still, oh. I know she's got me in her fucking claws, but you do I still figure have this eyes? out now? Like after this whole thing, like not you, oh, Keyleth, of course. Can I still see through the window? Can you can see still... through the window right there. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. kind of hard at this point. Okay, I'll use my bonus action first to cast Healing Word on Vax. Okay. Uh oh, that Vax elf. What's the range on Healing Word? He... Five. Thirty feet. Is it feet? Yep. Yeah. I think that would be. That would he is not close enough nope. to reach it. You're, you, have, you have to move first. Then maybe you don't want to go first. Yeah. I can Hold take you over there. Uh, would I know that? He's got to get close. No, you know the range of it. You'd be like, ah, oh, he's too far. You can move so, first, can't you? I can't move. She's he holding hold. me. You can wait. You can wait. He can you, hold you can, off. You can, can hold your turn, turn and, and trigger it. I'm trying because to give you a fast way down, motherfucker. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll hold my turn. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, Tiberius. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, move me an uh, initial thirty feet. Because my flight is 60 feet, so that was from the last turn. Okay, so it was 60 feet flight. 60 feet. Good enough. Uh, let's swoop in that room. Another 60 Just feet. How far can I go? Can I go all the way down? That's as far as you can get right there. Crap balls. Can I see anything? I can't see anything outside. Uh, that, okay. that, that, that's the that's the 60 foot for your movement. So yeah, currently. Well, I, I'm, I'm on the. I'm still flying. So can, am I? Can I see? see? Right, from an elevated there. standpoint, you would you would probably just so barely cool. be able to see the edge of uh, of uh, Lord Briarwood down there below. He would have three quarters cover, but you can see him. I can't see Vax. No, okay. not from the, the angle of the window. Uh, <laughs> charge my decanter. That's my turn. Okay. All right. Let's um, you can use your action to move if you want to get closer to the window. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, can I do that? Or if, go outside if you wanted to. But then I can't do anything else after that, right? right. Um, but I mean, this this would be the end of your turn regardless. Okay, okay, fine. Oh yeah, then get me right up. Do you right where I can see backs? Right there. Yeah. Okay. That actually, scooch me one over. I can still see him from the, the Here? right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can see me. Cool. So you're just kind of floating in the air, currently looking through the cracked window down at the kind of cluster of mayhem that's below. Uh, okay. That en that ends Tiberius' turn. Grog. Raging, I see uh, Vex take off so fast. I try and catch up to her and see what's freaking her out so much. My speed is 50. That's Wait, your. No, Healing Word has a 60 feet range. Oh, does it? You said 30. You're after me, it's okay. 30. <laughs> she did. Sorry. Then we'll see, it's all having some of the So I take, I, take the, uh, so I take the Firebrand Warhammer. Mm -hmm. With the chain of returning attached to it, I activate it and I throw it at uh, Lady Delilah. Over there, okay. Yeah. What's the range on it? It doesn't. It doesn't have a distance. It uh, just. It, it, it has a DC. Okay. To pull it back. So here's here's what we'll do. So it works here. It's a it's a it's the Warhammer or Warpick. What is it? Yeah, the Warhammer. Um, but the chain of returning doesn't have a distance. Thought no, it no, it's, it's the distance of the weapon is what it is. Oh, okay. So. Looking it up right now for you. What did we do before iPhones? That was like 150 or 120. <laughs> oh yeah, because you used it when we were fighting that manta, that manta ray, so it was like a one. Uh, I don't have a player's handbook immediately at my disposal, because somebody can look up the equipment section right now. Are you here, I'll just move this over here. Oh. Uh, excuse the sound change here. I have to move the mic. There we go. I got it. Oh gosh. There is there is a range on thrown weapons. Unfortunately, you have to kind of make sure. Yeah, of course. In that area. What is it? Kind of as a mace, hand axe. All right, Warhammer. Uh, it doesn't have a. This one is not considered an actual like <coughs> normally thrown weapon. No. Um, so I would give it the same distance of a uh, uh, a hand axe, which is 60 foot max. But you would be at disadvantage in the throw anyway. Um, for, like pretty heavy disadvantage on this. So we'll give it a shot. I can't. That doesn't even make 60 feet, though, does it? Let's see. No, it's just as you, as you lob it. Well, if I know how long it is, could I do something else instead of throwing it? If I'd known the distance, it's just not. Yeah, if you know the distance, I'll, I'll say sure. sure okay, sure. then can I try for intimidating presence? Sure. Okay. There's a DC saving throw. For Against you. her? Uh, yeah. Okay. As she kind of glances over at you, as you come running around the corner, this giant engine of, of muscle and death, you growl at her, screaming for <laughs> All right, what's the DC on it for? Uh, 13. 13? Fail. Uh, 
She uh, kind of glances over at you, and you can see her kind of head turned to the side with a curious That's chuckle. So low, God. Yeah, sorry. All right. Uh, Bring it back guys. to Sa- Sam. Uh, all right, Kit, you're up. Well, well, that's right. I know you're in the turn. Yeah. I'll get to you. So will sixty feet hit him? Yes. Yes, it would. Okay, okay. then I will heal Vax. Okay, so drop a healing word on. Okay. Oh, that Vax. Oh, <laughs> back a bit by vampires, <laughs> and his skin's turning pale and white. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, but again, don't worry, <laughs> he's around the corner. What's going on? Here comes scaling. Everything's it's gonna, gonna be, be all right. right. I feel like I'm getting insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so go ahead and roll for how much you heal him. In the uh, I'm gonna do that, even, even though it's a bonus action. I'm gonna do it as a as a fifth level spell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and shit, it's. Uh, you gotta have it right here. So it's, it's, it's initial one d four plus five. So it would be five d four. And I roll plus five. It? Yes, you do. Okay. Oh well, then give me a bunch of d fours. Yeah, here's one. Yeah. Kit, you're on deck, so imagine. Like trying people yeah, here's a d4. I need one more. Here's a d4. Great. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is that one? Ah, shit! <laughs> what are these? What okay, is it? Okay, okay, so, so four, five. Can't add, I can six, never seven, add d4. Uh, ten. That's why I have the square uh, ones. Twelve. Okay. Plus five. Five. So you seven. heal 17 hit points from the darkness. Wait, you is it plus down. five or is it plus. <laughs> Five, five, five. No, no, five, it's, plus, five. it's plus five overall. So. <laughs> Consciousness comes to you, breath comes into your chest, and you can feel the cold, wet grass against the left side of your face. Uh, your vision begins to clarify for a second, and you kind of look up over, and you can see immediately to the right of you both Lord and Lady Briarwood standing over you, kind of looking down with one half of their gaze, the other paying attention to this. They're looking at me. They're kind of looking down at you and kind of glancing okay. at this slowly encroaching circle of assailants. Um, so, all right. You, that was your bonus action. That was my bonus action. As my action action, oh man, this is stupid. <laughs> I lift my hand clone cone of clarity, and I sing to Lady Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Would <laughs> <laughs> you listen to that. me? Because I'm about to cast a spell on you. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use suggestion on her. This is so stupid. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. So what's, no. the, what's the DC on that? Come on, Bert. Uh, well, Come it's, on, Bert. It's 19. Okay. With that. Okay. Good to know. Damn. Uh, and so what are you suggesting with her? Delilah I'm suggesting at your feet. that she has an un it, a, an unquenchable urge to make out with her husband. All right. <laughs> uh, and what saving throw is it? That is a. Uh, huh? Oh. Is it a wisdom <laughs> saving? <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Suggestion. Give that man some inspiration. Uh, it is targeting wisdom. Wisdom. Okay, good to know. Uh, rolled an 18. She has advantage on it anyway. All right, so yeah. no. I, I, what? I, yeah, she rolled a natural 18 plus her uh, wisdom bonus of two that puts her at a 20. She just crested over it. You'd see she kind of glances up for a second at you. And you see, I, you can see, like the presence of the actual shouting and the suggestion kind of coming through, echoing through the glass and out the other broken window. She kind of looks up, and you see parts of the shard of the glass are actually kind of shaking from your singing sound. Oh. Uh, the kind of harmonic resonance of the glass kind of catching your. your uh... She doesn't feel even a little bit horny. <laughs> <laughs> you gather that probably all given points of time, she probably enjoys being close to her husband, <laughs> but uh, not overcome with an with an uncontrollable urge. She has a headache. Uh, <laughs> right. All right. So that uh, that ends Scanlan. That ends up so. Uh, Kit. Okay. Uh, am oh. I am I within 120 feet? Of either of the Briarwoods. You are, but they're not currently in visual range because they're outside and down below. Right. So if you okay. want to try and move over this way, you can try yeah. and get a visual. Uh, yeah. Could I? Am I able to move somewhere where I can see them? Three, four, five, six. So you kind of would have to like leap up onto the edge of the canopy bed. Okay. And uh, you can just see them past the broken window down into the courtyard right there. Right. Okay. As, as Tiberius, the dragonborn you saw, kind of close through, is kind of hovering in the air about five feet above you. Yeah. Okay. I'm Tiberius Stormwind. Oh, there's lots of excitement going on, isn't there? Um, so. I would like to use Crown of Madness. Crown of Madness? If I may. Wait, Crown of Madness? Oh. She was just a common girl. Yeah, I would like to use Crown of Madness. Oh. Yeah, just a common guard. <laughs> I, I would like to use Crown of Madness on uh, Lord Briarwood. Alrighty. Please. I'm excited. Right, what, is, what, what, what is the DC on the spell? Uh, so my DC would be eight plus my 
spell casting modifier plus yeah. proficiency. It should be at the very top of your spell sheet. Right, okay. Uh, 17. 17, all right, against Lord Briarwood. <laughs> Even with his plus seven. Yay! Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, is something oh, actually going to work? Oh. He, is going, he is going to use his legendary resistance oh. to oh. succeed the saving throw. Oh. He's a so dick. As, as you do that, you see like like the magical energy kind of form around his head and this like crown of darkened arcane energy forms and begins to clasp around and he kind of looks up for a second and shrugs his hair like that and it dissipates. And you can see for a brief second his vision come up and find your gaze uh, as but Matt, she's our guest. I understand. And, and as it was a <laughs> as it was a concentration spell, also the illusion that you currently were holding <gasps> fades away. What was once the kind of demure, mousy-looking human guest suddenly appears as a shoulder. a pale white uh, tiefling, currently now existing at the edge of the bed. Uh, yeah. white image teeth? shimmers and disappears as you see her standing before you on her hoofed legs, uh, holding what was previously was a, a non-visible staff in one hand. And I'm right above her. Uh, you are right above her, yeah. I go, Ooh, nice, nice horns. <laughs> like, you know, kind of, kind of looking over your shoulder. You're a little bit in front of her, but yeah, you see it. All right, so, so uh, What's your that name? will be your turn there. Our friend is in All mortal right. danger right now. You maybe wouldn't want to hit on somebody I'm just at saying, that she's moment. She's a stranger. Help. Percy. He doesn't know that. She hasn't. I would have to agree. You fall in the suit, you manage to move <laughs> around the corner of the others. You are now within visual range of both Briarwoods um, at a far distance, though. Too far oh. for the pepper box. Pepper, well, pepper box, no, its range is like 150. Isn't it? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I was pepper box. Pepper box range is 150 is, is, the, is the minimum. So yeah, you're fine. You're is, fine. Is 150, but like the bad news range is is disgusting. Now you, they're within range for both. So for, so for I'll start with bad news. Yeah. Um, all right. Nothing travels faster. <sighs> all right. First shot against two. Silas. <laughs> I got a little juice bumps from that. Uh, that's a 30 to hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that'll rock oh. his shit. Oh, yeah. it's about to feel so good. Oh, mercy! Such a turn on. Declate this motherfucker. Oh. oh my god. You just get my. These are the worst people we've ever faced. I hate them. I hate them so much. Do some dentistry work. It's my other far away. <laughs> D12s? Yeah, no, I'm missing my D12s. 12. Oh, Thank you. 12 away. Take their... oh, so you that's... 12? I'm good. Uh, that's 17 points of damage. Okay. So that's the first shot. So as you the shot echoing out across the night sky of Iman, uh, Lord Briarwood, who is currently kind of staring down at you, is coming to consciousness, and you can see under his breath, he says, there's no way out tonight, friend. And kind of begins to lean forward before <laughs> the back of his shoulder is racked by a sudden impact. You see a lot of material just spatter out with, with some sort of dark crimson. And he ah, looks over his shoulder with anger, and you can see at that point, glistening across the moonlight, the sharpened fangs visible at the edge of his mouth. As it looks over. Is he looking at me? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm taking another aim shot at his face. Okay, so you use your second attack to reload. As Third he's shot, reloading. aim shot at the face while he was turning around. As he reloaded weakly behind him, I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, that's 24 to hit. 24 to hit will hit. Um, and skadoosh. That's <laughs> oh. That's 28 points of damage, nice. and he has disadvantage on all attacks for this round. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh snap! <laughs> Shots fired. That was using the uh, the. <clears throat> The, the arm shot? Yeah. Good. So, as he turns around and glares at you, there's like a moment of clarity and you can feel that familiar stare, that horrible glare, and the cowardice in you fights the the, the moment of, of, of tension that you've been waiting for this sequence. As you load the weapon, you he says it loudly enough for you to hear, but this voice now, you see uh, Lord Byron says, Would you look at that, dear? The pup yet lives. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a big chunk of flesh is just blown off, and you can see the bone beneath. <sighs> uh, that's Percy. Uh, if that's as far as I can make it, as far as you can get, you still have your, your heroic action if you wanted to do. That. I, I'm <laughs> holding on. Okay, holding All right. out. All right, so that that will end uh, your turn. That brings us nice. to. 
turn. Alrighty. Um, Seeker is then going to turn this way, uh, step towards the side and pull his crossbow out. I was already loaded with a bolt into it, and is going to take a shot at uh, Grog, who's currently the the biggest target right now. Uh, that's going to be <laughs> I rolled a two. That's going to be a uh, thirteen. His armor class. This is yeah. <laughs> Goes and uh, as a bonus action, go reloads and gets Status a second shot at you. Effort. That will be a nineteen. It's all right. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, you take uh, seven points of piercing damage, halved because of your enrage. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and with the rest of his movement, Seeker Asim is going to go ahead and step back in the shadow uh, to the side there. Uh, ending that turn, now it comes to Lord Briarwood. Wait, did I, I didn't I, get my turn? Akilah, if you're up after and him. I, and I have a question. Yes. I mean, whenever, you, at, you at some point I'm in the mix, at some point, right? Yeah, you're coming up. Okay. Don't worry, you guys. You guys I actually, you guys hold the lowest initiatives. So yeah, yeah. He's not. He should, he should, oh, he's prone. Still. No. Oh, he's, he's still prone. Yeah. Prone. Uh, so uh, so uh, Silas is going to, uh, seeing the circumstance, reach down oh, and no, attempt no, no, to no, 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 no. grab you. No Get out of there. shit. Uh, he has disadvantage because right. of that. <laughs> All right, that's going to be a total of an 11. <laughs> to do what? To grapple check? Do I have to roll? To attempt to grapple you. So yeah. I roll as well. Oh, uh, we don't have no, to. He, he, no. he, that's not good. Good, yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, so it, it just missed entirely. Um, All right, so uh, that's with his first strike. Second one is going to go for a, another attempt to grapple on you. Uh, with disadvantage, that comes to a 18. Uh, for hitting? For hitting you. Yeah. Hits. All right. And now he's going to make an athletics check to attempt to grapple you. Okay. So no. Uh, that is going to be a. It's only a piece of paper. As I see this going 13. on, can I call out with cutting words to distract him? You could, yes. Okay. Destruction! Destruction! <laughs> Destruction! 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 Uh, the fingers are coming towards you, and you try and bend to roll all the way. All of a sudden, you hear distraction, <laughs> and both <sighs> you see like, like <laughs> the finger eye roll, and then goes in for the attack. But that's giving you enough time to kind of roll out of the way, and his hand only meets the ground. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yay. Um, he's then going to step back God, and uh, kind of get no, adjacent to uh, to Lady Briarwood. Uh, that ends his turn. Uh, Keyleth, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna fly out the window with Scanlan. Out the broken one over here, or out the non-broken one? The broken one. Okay. What are you doing to me? <laughs> so you're kind of coasting over here? I'm gonna go ahead and drop him off. <laughs> okay, so as you swoop down and leave Scanlan right there in front of him, that'll be... Right in front of him. You're right there. So yeah. is, is what, Seeker, right Seeker Hassam's, oh, oh, he's oh, like against oh, us? Oh, he's yeah, not he's with You us. have no idea. You, you just swooped out there and he's there, like kind of hiding in the shadow. But he the just fired at Grog. You didn't see it from your perspective there. You just saw a oh, bolt I go. Oh, I didn't <laughs> see that. Yeah. Do I still have enough movement to make an action? Uh, you, you do, yes. That was just your movement because you swooped out as me. Um, where's, where's Lord Briarwood? Right there. I'm going to go and try and peck his eyes out. Are you dropping me? Yeah, I drop you off, and okay. I'm gonna go and swoop over. You've already used your movement to get there and drop him off. Okay, so, go so all the I way don't around. Have so you, you can't That's get. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You used your full movement to get there and drop off Scanlan. You still want to be in Eagle? Um. Yeah, because it's a hit point sponge. Oh right. Can you retcon? Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll, I'll I'll drop Eagle form. Okay. Keyleth, all of a sudden the Eagle condenses down and forms back into Keyleth in her half-elven form. And I will also use my bonus action to cast Healing Word on Vax. Ooh. Okay. And I will also cast it at, Jefferson. actually, I'll cast it at a third level, because I'm gonna some D4s. It. Thank you. Um, you should cast it at Vax. Give her my weird yeah. ones. Okay, yeah. So, so you need one more, right? Three, four, five. 
If you're at level three. Oh, oh and it's plus to my my oh. my spell modifier. Is that what it oh. is? Plus ten. So uh, yeah, I need one more. So it's fifteen. Seventeen points. Seventeen nice. points. Nice. Yours is different. Okay. Oh, wait, is it, no, one, it's the same two, spell, three. It? it is. Oh no! Wait, no. Fifteen. 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 Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Thirty-two. Back. So it's Back. I was like, wait, I'm not the first one. Alrighty. Back, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and with that, Vex. <gasps> okay, Vex. so. Vex, as you can. So you have to tell me what's possible. Um, I'm prone, right? You are prone on the ground. I, this is what I'd like to do. You tell me if it's possible. I'd like to click my boots of haste together. Okay. And then get up, which takes my full movement? What is it? To Getting get up takes half your movement? Half my movement. Yes. So I want to click my boot. This is what I want to do. You tell me if it's possible. <laughs> click my boots of haste. Get up. Uh, use uh, disengage again, and then run like a motherfucker, straight up, straight towards. Yeah, you can probably do that. Yeah. 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 Do it. That's do what it. I want to do. Okay. It's straight towards what? This is my up. sister, and oh. as I run past, I share a very awkward glance with Keyleth, and keep going and just run and lock eyes with my sister and run at her. Okay, what's your full movement then? Uh, would be well, you, well, 30 times 2, which would be 60, half that, so you can run 30 feet. Okay. So it takes you half your movement to get up. Yeah. So yeah, you disengage. What this way. Okay. There you go. There you go. Oh good, I'm glad I'm tip of the spear now. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? A convention door! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, that ends your turn. Uh, the top is Vex now. All right. Um, I'm going to. Um, Kill some people, heal yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take a healing potion, a superior, which is what. <laughs> superior. <laughs> it's superior would be eight d four plus eight. Eight d four plus eight. Eight d four plus eight. Uh, superior. Superior. That's so many fours. It's not like you don't have thirty uh, dice anymore. Mm-hmm. Fuckers. So angry. Uh, three more. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, okay. twenty-eight. Okay, twenty-eight. That's good. Okay, and then um, I'm going to cast. I'm sorry, Hunter's Mark. Um, I'm going to cast. Hail of Thorns! Okay. Right um, at the one in the middle. They're right next to each other, right? Yeah. So yeah, either. Yeah. You'll be scooting right over Scanlan's head with your arrow. Let's stick it to Lady Briarwood's Go again. for it. Reverse that move. Um, <laughs> cool. Oh, balls. Oh wait, do I not, I don't need to roll to hit on that, right? Because it's just It would stand the spell. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Oh, the next time I hit a creature. Oh, so I don't think I hit her. That was 15. 15 would not hit him. Okay, then I'm going to try it again. Okay. I didn't hit her again. It's because you're safe now, so, buddy. As you, <laughs> she stands there kind of kind of grinning, looking at her over this. They're both still amused by this whole circumstance. There isn't, there isn't really a glimmer of fear Aww. in this. Um, as the first air comes by, she kind of leans to the side and just dodges it a little bit. A hey, second her. one comes towards her, and Lord Byerwood kind of deflects it up from in front of her and kind of gives you a look of like, don't you dare touch my woman. Um... Where's Trinket? Trinket is somewhere. Okay, did he hear? I whistle again. Just you whistle again. Okay, that's your. Turn. <clears throat> All right. Look so. over here. Look over here. Look over here. Look over here. With that, uh, as uh, you I see, the uh, the dragonborn is flying up to the window, and Delilah kind of looks back at everyone, sees everyone rushing forward, and says, "Honey, you deal with them. Worst comes to worst." And she glances up at you. But you. I'm Tiberius Stormwind. Yes, indeed, you are. <laughs> um, as she uh, looks at you for a second, and there's this kind of sparkle, this 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 prismatic glow of, of light in her eyes. Um, I need you. Show her how magic works. It was never counter spell. <laughs> Can you do that? Were you saying something? Hold on. <clears throat> hold on. Hold. Can you do that? Can you do that? I think that distance action? makes it a difference for these people. All right, so uh, you're going to attempt to counter. Lock up, buddy. Come Let's on. Do this. Let's do this. Dice versus dice. Love this. Wizard Love versus it. wizard. Power All right. die so. Fight to the death. Go Good. ahead and roll d20 and add five. <laughs> Seven. Um, yeah, it's not going to do it. 
But that's a lucky number. So, at that point, you you feel this sudden surge of arcane energy suddenly just burst. Like, not visually, but just this, like, on this coursing connection, almost like two nexus points of energy, there's this tidal wave of arcane energy that blasts into your mind. Uh, I need you to go ahead and make an intelligence saving throw. Are they Superman and Wonder Woman? Yeah. Better. Yeah. Uh, up, up top, up top. Yeah, it's General Zod. Oh, uh, 18. 18? Uh, 18 would, uh, <laughs> unfortunately not succeed. No. Um, okay, you take uh, 21 points of psychic damage. Ow! 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 <laughs> and Ow, your intelligence and charisma scores become one. <gasps> what? Oh, total? Suddenly, oh. language leaves you. All the spells, well, the whole fair, nature of spell casting, <laughs> the nature of spell casting is robbed, and you know where you are, Come but up. everything is instinctual. And for this point, you are essentially a, from a communication standpoint, a giant lizard. Am I still flying? I'm assuming I fall. Uh, at this point, you do actually. Yeah, you, you can hey, only you're on concentration, the bed, and you poof, and land on Isn't the that ground. Dumber than the me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, she then Wait, kind of no. steps. Is it permanent? Oh. Uh, it, you you don't know. Is what permanent? I can fix it. I can fix it. It's okay. Nothing's Don't worry about it right now. Yeah. Since you're down so there. anyway, that no, ends. I can't fix it right now. <laughs> that ends I wouldn't be able to fix it right now anyway. Tiberius. Uh, I'm just gonna do. It. Well, it's your turn. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 can you make a save? Well, what the fuck can I do? Chase a fly. <laughs> Is there a saving throw? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there. Ouch. I'll throw some there is shit. Where I don't know what. There is no save. You can bring free fire. Just run away. At the end of every thirty days. 30 days? There's two. Um, he doesn't even know what a day is? I can yeah. fix it, I can fix it after I sleep, okay, just not right now. Which oh, is what she would be saying if she was knowing this was happening to you. So anyway, um, you you still know your friends, you know you have friends here, you know there's something to protect, you know that, that, that people need protection, you must protect, and that's kind of the extent of where your drive is right now. Um. Well, I guess uh, I'm, I'm, I'm com am I, and I'm confused as hell. I assume, right? Like, I don't know. You, what's you, you, you. It's hard to say. <laughs> you're still you. You're still present there. You just know that suddenly. Spells. I don't know spells. I don't know spells. <sighs> Anger, frustration, protect. It's hmm. all base instincts, right? Is now. it a friend from foe? Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't know. Okay. Uh, well. Uh... Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm not gonna do shit. I'm actually gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go out the door and back on the hallway. Okay. No, and I'm gonna whip around to that guy and go <laughs> 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 Or she goes <laughs> Cause I know I don't like him. Right, and take, <laughs> takes another five steps back from you. <laughs> Unexpected feral reaction of Tiberius. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dash, so double. Yeah, I, I moved you, okay, dash, move there. Okay, that ends your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Uh, Me? Yes. I, I would like to run towards your, you the like fucking uh, like Lord Silas. Can I reach him? Uh, you can't get all the way there, but you can get within throwing range, should you be interested. Throwing range only. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the, the hammer again. All right, so now you <laughs> lob it. Woof, woof, the flames kind of arcing in a circle towards him. Uh, 23. 23 hits, go ahead and roll damage. Nice. Uh, 17. 17, all right. Um, so <laughs> the hammer hits from the front, the flames burst around from the impact. You can hear the metal clang of metal oh, against the armor damage. he's wearing underneath his outfit. Oh yeah, sorry, D6 of flame damage. There you go. Shit. One. All right. This is 18 damage, good enough. All right. Um, so go ahead and, if you want to try and retract it as a bonus action. Yes. I succeed. Okay. You pull. You pull on the chain. It whoosh, whips back like Thor. You catch it midair. Yeah. Prepare yourself for the next round. Irony. Um, that'll be your turn, Scanlan. Oh. Hi. <laughs> You're now there, face to face. You are essentially, essentially the shield of the group right now between the Briarwoods. Hello. <laughs> what a lovely dinner we had. Lightning. <laughs> 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 All right. 
you go to release the spell. <laughs> she immediately begins to mutter oh, something no. in between. You feel really? Really? like this 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 counteractive arcane energy. If she hadn't rolled a natural one on her <gasps> counter spell, that would have been pretty bad. But to the sheer force of frustration and anger at this point now, the lightning bolt presses through her counter and the bolt is released in that direction, arcing Fuck towards yeah. both of them. Wait, she rolled a one? Fuck yeah. She rolled a one to try and counter oh, your spell. That's a critical fail. <laughs> no. um, that's okay. nice. Please make it funny. Oh, so wait, I, now I get to roll for Your damage, damage yeah. yeah. This is a bunch of d6s, right? right? Eight d6s. Eight d6s, and for their saving throws. Can I arc it so it hits both yeah. of them? Six. Yeah, it would hit them both. Would it also hit eight. Mr. Awesome? He's no, he's off to the left. Okay. It's all there. Uh. All right. So they do both make their saving throws. So they both take half damage. Oh. Okay. So 18, of course they do. 20, 26. Hate them. Hate them so 32. much. 32. 32. Okay. That's a 16. 16 to Silas and eight to Lady Delilah. Cause oh, she can take half of half. Apparently. Magic resistance. Oh shit. Um. Both then, take the blast from this little gnome. You can see this kind of this 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 look of okay. Things are getting a little weird now. They both kind of look at each other with a realizing they're now a front of two against many swarming individuals. Um, do you want to move? Or you stay where you are. I will move backwards okay. <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> and uh, have I seen the tiefling? Um, you have not. Oh, no, no, you did. You flew past as you were also like, what the heck is that? And then you were pulled out. I don't have with... eyes on her. No. So I can't inspire her. Unfortunately, no. Mm. All right, well, then I will inspire Keyleth. Oh. <gasps> uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. Can you feel the blood tonight? That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're inspired. Thanks. <laughs> I get a D10, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. So that ends your turn. Mm-hmm. That brings us to uh, you. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm starting to get a bit pissed now. My tail's whipping, and I would like to use Phantasmal Killer. What, what is that? Oh. It's Lord Briarwood again. All right. That sounds awesome. Her accent is so fake. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so. Uh, are you staying on the edge of the bed, or are you going to roll towards the window to have a, a clear um, view? Let me forward a bit. All right, so you leave up of the bed, come to the edge of the broken window, looking yes. down towards it. Um, all right. Let's try and make this wisdom saving throw. Um, okay, so, chose to make his save using his legendary resistance. Um, so there was... He, how many times does he get that damn thing? No. Oh. I hate him. like a dragon. Um, he is, he's a dragon. It's fine, I'll wear him out. However, the target still becomes frightened. Aha! Oh. The duration. Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's, that's good. fun. I'm just her so, so, so now as you do this and look up, Lord Briarwood has had this kind of cocky grin the whole time, kind of sees this sudden albino, essentially, uh, tiefling in the window glare down and send this kind of this shimmering wave of arcane energy hissing from above. The echo of the hiss hits Lord Briarwood, and for the first time you see him recoil in strange momentary terror and seems to almost step back into the side of his wife. Glances over shoulder towards her and she kind of gives him a, a, a look of misunderstanding and acknowledgement. So he cannot get near you currently, cannot get any closer to you and has a uh, disadvantage against anything against you. Just, uh, just her or us? Just her. All right, very cool. Uh, so that, that's your turn on that one. Uh, uh, Percy. Percy! I'm going to take a s- standard walking speed 30 feet straight ahead, swinging bad news back onto my back, pulling out pull the pepper box. Silas! <laughs> I'm getting his attention again. I'm going to start Are you shooting still in disguise? with. disguise? Uh, no, I don't think anymore. No, the, the moment you fired, the illusion dissipated. You recognized oh, okay. him, called him the pup. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to be using my uh, sharpshooter yeah. for this. Okay, I go for it. Um, uh, this is, uh, 26 to hit? Yeah, that hits. Uh, so that's, uh, let's see. Oh, I need one of these two. Um, that's 22 points of damage and one point of fire damage. All right. Um, 
same thing again. So, uh, so you've shot, reload, shot, and this turn. No, I put bad news away. Oh, bad news oh, sorry, is empty. Rocks. Yeah, so bad news empty. All right, so that's the first I'm, shot. I'm, I'm keeping. I'm you keeping got this. Track. All right, cool. Sorry, I misunderstood. I ain't gonna be a dick about it. All right, so uh, this is the first shot, second shot. Um, twenty-five. We have hits. That's um, that's uh, twenty-one points of damage. Already. Shooting again. All right. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen does not hit. The first shot <laughs> off the shoulder. The second one <laughs> hits the uh, same point with bad news. Uh, hit the arm, blasting off another chunk of flesh. And the third one, uh, this time you can actually see the shadows tend to coalesce around him, and the shot just <laughs> misses through the darkness and reforms into the, the physical form of Silas. Um, as you're finishing your turn, uh, that uh, you can see Silas's flesh is reforming and healing rapidly from the damage he's taken. Uh, Actual t- tendons are shit. forming back up from the blast damage he's taken, kind of looking at you with this slight grin, but then nervously back at the tiefling in the window, <laughs> back and forth. All right, so that, uh, at this point in time, uh, Asum is going to go ahead and back up this way. He's going to use uh, uh, action to hide. Rolls a three, terrible. Absolutely useless. Um, all right, so Silas now is going to uh, angrily look around and uh, pulls off from the back. You can see this like this shimmer as there was uh, an, an illusion dissipates, and what previously looked like was an empty back, a large scabbard appears, pulling this giant, dark, like slate gray great sword from the back. And <laughs> lunges forward towards you, Grog. Silas, did Uriel ever? Did Asked the you. Ever get Uriel? Uh, you have not seen Uriel. <gasps> this thing. Um, all right, is going to then make a strike at you. Nope. Uh, that is going to. Ooh, that is a twenty-six to hit. Yes. All right. You take. 12 points of slashing damage, reduced to six. Uh, And I need you to go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. No, you should have a high constitution. That's still a disadvantage on attacks, right? No. That That was just a disadvantage. 18. 18, all right. You feel like the actual wound from the blade is attempting to draw some force from your your body, but you just (laughs) flex and kind of whatever arcane enchantment is resisted. Turns around for a second swipe. Uh, that is going to be a 19. Hits. Hits. All right. What's that belt? You take uh, 15 points of slashing damage. Half that. Seven. To seven. It'll be eight. eight. Roll it round up for you. So eight. And make another Constitution saving throw. Ha! Even better. Uh, 21. Yeah. Once again, just there is some sort of enchantment that's trying to pull from the wounds as it hits you, and you just kind of bear them, grin them off with this this chuckle. Uh, he's going to use the rest of uh, his movement to step back a little bit. You get an attack of opportunity. I do? Yes, you do. Play <laughs> the hammer. Yes! Uh, to, uh, what is that, 24? 24 hits, going to roll damage. Awesome. Uh, uh, that's 11 plus uh, four points of fire damage, so 15. Okay, total. 15, got it. Cool. Rub. All right. Uh, that ends uh, his turn. Keyleth. My turn? Your turn. Okay. Uh, wait, where did Briarwood go? Lord Briarwood. Right there. Right there. Oh, he backed up. Er, backed up. Beautiful. Um, so I take my staff and I crack it on the ground, and as I, where I cracked it, little ice crystals start forming uh, against the ground and start making ice. And I'm going to cast Sleet Storm. Or is that, I need a, I need a thing, I need a 20. thing. 20, what do you want? No, I need a, I need a. What do you need? Laser pointer. Oh, so oh right next to you. There we go. Uh, so it's a, it's a 40 foot radius. So right starting where, where Briarwood is. Alrighty. A 40 right, foot radius. Right, starting in this line. Sorry, Grog. So. <laughs> no, Grog's not in it. Bring, bring it backward. Like this way so you From mean? here, back. Back, okay, so sleeps from right back there, right there. I need a warm up. So as you slam the ground, the ice begins to, to move around and all of a sudden the cold air begins to form this almost like mist as the temperature shift 
suddenly impacts the surrounding vicinity. Uh, the grass freezes in place. You can see bits of ice and sleet begin to uh, rain down in the vicinity. So, um, the ground in the area is covered with, is difficult terrain, because it's covered with slick ice. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time, or on its turn, starts its turn there, it must make a dexterity saving throw, or else it's knocked prone, because they slip and fall. If a creature is concentrating in the spell's area, the creature must make a successful concentration saving throw against your spell's DC, or lose concentration. Good enough. And you have inspiration. All right. I have inspiration. Cool. Alrighty, so. And then I move back. All right. Cool. Concentrating that spell. That ends your turn. Uh, Vax. Ooh. Oh. Um. Okay, I'm going to throw one dagger at Briarwood's uh, face. All right, go for it. Okay. Oh, oh that's, Jesus. That's one. And then what I do is, uh, if I'm hasted, can I double do two potions? Instead of attack, uh, no, attack, the, attack, the I can go a- The additional action is not so much the potion. It's All right, so, like, I, so I'm taking a potion of greater healing and walking, <laughs> walking <laughs> backward, okay. uh, walking distance. Uh, and greater healing is 44, right? Greater so healing is 40, uh, 44 plus 4, yeah. All right, that ends your turn. Vex. I know, it's your Okay. Yes, I'm going to, uh, knowing that they seem to be vampires, their fucking teeth. Um, I'm gonna pull out one of my holy arrows and shoot it at. Um, uh, I guess he's Briarwood. Is Lord Briarwood's kind of in the way of Lady Briarwood now, isn't he? Uh, you can try and shoot either if you want to move over to the side and get a better view. Well, I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on him. On him? Okay. Yeah, and then I'm gonna shoot my um, holy arrow through my blazing bowstring one more time. Okay, go for it. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Here, Holy arrow. Um, where's my D? Hold on, hold on. Uh, 28. 28 does <laughs> it. Okay, good. Okay, do I do any additional damage with my holy arrow? I uh, will go ahead and roll damage for the arrow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Holy arrow. Okay. Holy arrow. <laughs> Holy arrow. All right, and you do an additional 2d6 radiant damage to Lord Oh, wait, 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 15. Plus a 10, 19, plus 10 for the Blazing Bowstring. So, uh, 22, and then what did you say? 2d6 radiant damage. Uh, 7 more, 29. so 29 damage. Okay, good enough. <laughs> so as the arrow impacts, it kind of puts up his cloak to kind of guard it in time. As it goes through the cloak, you hear this in pain as the arrow bursts, and as the cloak comes back, you can see this kind of burning sensation across the front of Lord Briarwood. Uh, the where well, the flesh was healing and sewing itself up that has been halted immediately by the impact of the holy water, which begin to pockmark and burn his flesh. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. Then um, I'm gonna hit him again. <laughs> All right. But yes, I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm out of my blazing bowstring, kind of fizzled out. Yes. Okay, that's a twenty-nine to hit. That was my phone. Can I hit? Where's my phone? Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Seventeen. Um, 17 plus 2 radiant damage. Well, this is second the holy arrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, what was that? So t- what was it before that? Tw- uh, 17. 17, so it's 20, 20, 28. 28. Oh. Yeah. And then um, another d6 for my hunter's mark. 32. 32. Yeah. Whew, nice. Second one shatters, and you can see now, like, part of the jaw is kind of hurt and wounded. <sighs> There's kind of this wild kind of frenzy to his face, as you can see, Lord Briar was starting to look a little ragged. Good. All right, that ends your turn? Uh, yes, that's, I think that's. All right, all uh, Lady Delilah Briarwood Lady Delilah. steps forward up to the back of her husband. She's my gonna d- make a dex throw. My d- she does. It's against, slippy. And against the spell, because it is magic, she gets advantage. Uh, that would be a uh, 18. What's the DC? Well, it just says they have to make a dexterity saving throw or they're not prone. Right, but it's against your DC of your spell. Oh, is it? Any, any spell effect. <coughs> so yeah, she makes it. So she steps forward, almost slips, but catches herself on the shoulder of her husband and, and says, my dear, I fear it's time that we make our leave. Make our leave? She they're casts. They're gonna bounce, they're gonna bounce. Cast Dimension Door, uh. both of them. Oh, shit. Out of visible range. 
Wait. I turned to Vex. Vex, does your hunter mark tell you where they went? They just disappeared. Where they, they go? fucking disappeared? Yeah, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Just dimension door out. I, I, I do have hunter's mark on him. On him, yes. Uh, you sense that they are not that far from you. They're around the corner where you guys uh, came from. I can teleport us there. They're right there. The do we want to keep Just fighting them? He's or do ragged. We? Yes, go, we go. Okay, we've got yeah, to get him. We've it. got to get him now. For Percy, lead the way, Percival. All right. They're around the corner. But the I mean, how long is this going to take us? Do we want to? I can probably teleport us through a tree. Right? That's okay. We'll just run. They're right there. <laughs> As you guys rush around the corner, you can That's see on the very edge of the cobblestone walkway, the zoom? carriage that they came in <gasps> is now. Gaining speed and heading down. Right now, I'm going to try and take out a wheel. Take out a wheel, take out a wheel. Go for it. Down close to the gate. He's going to take out a wheel. Come on, Percy. Close the gates! (laughs) (laughs) They're all no gates. 27. (laughs) Nice. 27 hits. Go ahead and roll damage on the wheel. Nice. (sighs) Fuck a doom. 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage. All right. Uh, He's got a table. The, uh, the wheel <laughs> splinters and <laughs> is now co- coasting on the ground. Uh, the young gentleman who's currently on the top is looking over his shoulder, trying desperately to r- usher it away. How roughly far away are they? Uh, right now, they're about 100 feet Where's Trinket? Guys. Okay, I'm gonna, I still have my... Trinket, um, Trinket is, was over at the stables in the far back of the palace, unfortunately. I still have my Sleet Storm up as a concentration spell, right. so I'm gonna move it over there. <laughs> Can you just shift it over there? Yeah, it's a concentration spell. That's a minute. Well, no, it, it, it concentration to keep it in the area it's at. Well, you then can't, I cast it again. Move. So you cast the sleet storm again? Yeah. What's the range on it? 150 feet. 150 feet. Boof, the sleet storm lands down. The cobblestone becomes sleek. Uh, the carriage begins kind of rocking back and forth. Uh, however, it does manage to keep on its course currently. It does not get knock prone. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to knock a carriage prone, but it is kind of sliding out of the way. Is that, is that, is that it, it's it's a disadvantage because it only has down. three wheels? Uh, good call, actually. And Thank you. Rotary. That is a two. Yeah. Gah! All right. Um, nice call. At this point, the carriage <laughs> slams onto the side of the ground and skids to a halt in the middle of the ice. The sleet's still spackling down as you guys all have like turned the corner now as you approach. Uh, the gates have closed as the guards have slammed it, listening to the on the far side. Um, yes, yes. The uh, the door kind of pops open. On the side of the uh, of the carriage, Tiberius, as you've made your way back around and kind of out the front now, you're like, <laughs> you can see now about sixty feet in front of you, seventy feet in front of you, the carriage is overturned in the middle. It's like in the sleet storm in the middle. Higher that around. bitch. Where where, yeah, where yeah, is yeah. it? Dumb, he's uh, a dummy. He's a dummy. Just from a visual standpoint, you're like this, you're about 60, 70 feet from the front of this. Um, the door kind of slams open, and you can see Lord and Lady Briarwood kind of step out. Can I shoot my exploding looking. arrow? Hold on. This is as you guys are just turning the corner. Um, the, uh, uh, you can see now Lord Bimarkin stands up and he's trying to compose himself, kind of ruffles himself angrily, looking at his kind of his damaged circumstance. Uh, Lady Briarwood's kind of against her shoulder and she kind of goes, ah, at the very least, I think you should come visit us sometime, Percy. You're always welcome back home. It'd be nice if you visit your family once in a while. Roll initiative. Just you. As you were the first action to take. 19. 19. Go ahead and roll. Roll the attack with the exploding arrow. This is against Lady Briarwood. 29. It's against, like, exploding, yeah, against yeah. her. 29 will hit. Nice. Oh, what do I do damage for the exploding arrow? I'll tell you. Roll, roll. The Percy made, yeah. by the way. R- roll for your... Um, 16. So 16 regular air damage? Yeah. Okay, I guess Lady Burn. And, uh. Cool. All right, and then uh, for the additional blast that blows up, it's uh, additional 4d6 blast damage nice. to her and. Probably why they, get, they both get saving throws to try and have it. Okay, I'm rolling one of our critical roll dice. <gasps> they critical both succeed. Roll. So half damage to both of them. Trademark. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Critical fail. Eleven. Eleven, so half that, six damage to each. Uh, she's gonna make a concentration check. She gets uh, advantage on that for Warcaster. Yeah, it's a 19. Okay, so a portion of the of the outside of the uh, 
the carriage just blows apart. Wood shrapnel goes flying to each other side. Um, as the smoke kind of settles in the explosion, you can see both Lord and Lady Barbara are still standing there, seemingly unscathed by the event. Turn your phone off! She wraps her arms around him, <clears throat> and she whispers in his ear, shh, it's all right. And they both <laughs> vanish in a swirl of arcane energy. You don't recognize it because right now you don't have the intelligence. To really I want to walk over to the carriage driver. <laughs> Can you sense where they are? You walk over to the uh, okay. the carriage driver who is currently on the ground. This 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 young man who's horribly hurt. Part of his torso is burned, and he's like, "Don't look to the right ones, Dick." Away. <laughs> please, please spare my life, please. I'm just. What do you want from me? What do you know? About, about what? I shoot him in the right hand. <gasps> it's an easy enough hit. He's, he's, he's prone before you. Uh, three of his fingers are blown off and the kind of bloody stuff. <laughs> shaking it. I'm sorry. Look. You're from Whitestone, yes? I am. You don't know what it's like. I have no choice. Well, you do now. I reload again and put it on his left hand. Please, please, please don't, please. The rest of you kind of gather, and you kind of step out from the uh, uh, the edge of the window and make your way with the rest of the crowd, kind of watching this display on the front. Frederick de Rolo. Yes. Where is he? He's gone. He's gone, so I'm sorry. Lady Johanna. They're all gone. So they all. Julius yeah. DeRolo. No, no. Vesper DeRolo. Whitney DeLolo. DeRolo. Ludwig DeRolo. Oliver DeRolo. Your family is gone, sir. They were taken. They were killed. I'm sorry. You will tell us everything you've seen. I. Fight me, so they'll kill me. No, they won't. Because I will kill you first. Tell me what you've seen. And with that, we're gonna go to break. Oh! Oh, yeah! Ha! Oh, wow. Ha! Get you, but you're not dead. Yay! Told you. Uh, Thank you for not dying. Uh, I, Hopefully you won't turn into a vampire soon. You did get bit. Stop yeah, it. I know, I know. I, <laughs> uh, I, I think that works is like if it goes all the way down to zero. Critters, as promised, we are finally made it down to 826LA. I'm here with Joel Arceos, who is the creative director of 826LA. And Joel, we love you. Well, we're honored that you love us, and we're so grateful. Tell the audience a little bit about what you guys do. 
So HSXLA is a writing and tutoring organization and we support students ages 6 to 18 with their creative and expository writing skills. And we do this by providing free writing programs here at our centers and also in schools all over Los Angeles. So where did you guys get the idea for the time travel art? We're part of a network of seven nonprofits across the nation and in San Francisco is where it started. 826 Valencia Street, that was the address, that's where the numbers come from. And I've always wondered that. It's yeah. not that we're open from eight to six. It's eight to six. Well, yeah. <laughs> somebody they were taking apart the place, and somebody mentioned it looked like the inside of a pirate ship. And since the place had been zoned for retail, they decided to open the pirate store. And so all the cities that have opened up eight to sixes have their own stores. New York has a superhero store, and since LA Perfect. is home to time travelers, we opened a time travel store. Yeah, yeah. You definitely get all walks of life through Los Angeles. Finding everything you're looking for. <laughs> I have found my Viking odorant. What, For Vikings who care how they smell, Viking odorant. Oh god. So, and you guys really focus on the creative writing and storytelling aspect. Where do you even begin when teaching kids creative writing? Well, the first thing is not to scare them. You know, writing doesn't have to be a scary process. We say the same thing with Dungeons and Dragons. Really? Role playing's not scary. Not at all. It's fun. It's just pretend. It's imagination. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. What do you have to have in order to really cut it? You have to have a heart. <laughs> you have to have a heart. You have to have a soul. You have to soul. You know, really, it's just a willingness to to get involved. They need people they can, you know, trust and work with. And we need people who have time. I mean, volunteers, if, if working with kids is something that maybe isn't what you want to do, but there's other ways to volunteer. We look for designers, you know, copywriters. Yeah, you have to have people make all these amazing things in the store. The products in the store, right. um, you know. You need crafty people, too. And then, yes, a little bit we, need of worker, we need workers. We need just a lot of ideas and support. And so there's a lot so of ways to involve. So pretty much, if you want to help, there will be a way. We will find a way. You will find a way. We will find a way. That's amazing. And how yeah. do you sign up to be a volunteer? It's pretty simple. You get on our website, write to I want to help at H. 6LA.org and you just tell us what you want to do and then we'll a friendly person will respond and we'll let you know about an orientation. We do volunteer 101s almost every week. That's awesome. Well, I think it's time to go show some kids some Dungeons and Dragons. What do you think? I think that's great. Let's do it. Uh, we're just going to give you a little bit of an idea of a game that we play, a game called Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. But it's like uh, you play a video game where you, you play as a character and you go through a story. Except there's no video to it. This is a story that you create with your friends. So like in Dungeons and Dragons, you have one person who's the dungeon master, and that's who I am for the game that we play together. So you create worlds, and you create cities, and you create different people that live in those cities, and kind of what they're afraid of, what they want to achieve, while the rest of you guys, if you were all players in it, you create your own character, and you guys drive the story. He wants to be the dungeon master. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you have the spark of interest in your eyes. Yeah. Power hungry. We call it power hungry. <laughs> it's not power hungry. <laughs> it's not power hungry. <laughs> all right, so let's say, the three of you are venturing down this dark underground cavern. You can hear the drip drop of water as it's cascading down the sides of the cavern walls. In the very, very far distance, just past where the shadows disappear into darkness, you see what looks like a ruined city. Everyone go ahead and roll with your perception. Eight, a 16, and a 17. Oh, so your character, your character may have been a little distracted by the water, and as you're wandering by, you hear the river, and you're like, oh, I'm actually kind of thirsty. You guys notice that that ruin in the distance <laughs> seems to be guarded by some sort of creature. You see, while it has the body of a lion, it extends these giant bird-like wings, and the head of a human rests on its shoulders. It says, You! Are you good or are you evil? Well, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. You! Are you good or are you dark? I am totally good. All right. A <laughs> <laughs> what are you here to achieve in these caverns? You can make up anything you want. Try to make my own town. So you have come to this underground venture to build your own city. And so now you would roll a persuasion roll to see if you can convince this entity to help you build your city. Yeah. Oh, that's a very high roll. Perhaps this city could be built together. Thank God. And so that there is a brief explanation of kind of how you build a story Yay. together. Well, I totally want. So now it's your guys' job to convince all these guys to start a Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you already got your Dungeon Master right here. Yeah, so. you're already Dungeon Master. <laughs> you're already and I'm gonna make me die. <laughs> so you'll survive yeah. until the prequel. <laughs> He's already planned out the trilogy. That's D and D. <laughs> in a nutshell. In a nutshell. So Joel. We thought that we would present A26LA with a moderately sized check 
for fifteen thousand dollars. Moderately sized. That's Moderately awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Wow. Now everybody smile for the camera. You guys did this. Thank you. Huge thank you. Wow. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Chris. All right. Oh, my Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to San Francisco, and I have with me uh, Team Human behind me. Um, hey guys. Hey. Apologize if the audio is weird. Like we're in a bar uh, watching Critical Role as a group together, and I wanted to announce uh, the Humanism winner of the day. Okay, Blair Beverage, you are the hashtag Humanism winner. Um, we will be seeing. A, uh, a care package of Critical Role stuff. It's going to be awesome. A t-shirt, uh, signed books, signed posters, all this stuff. Thank you for participating in Hashtag Humanism. And for all those people who are watching right now that have no fucking clue what I am talking about because you're here on Thursdays and you're like, what the fuck is this? Uh, hashtag Humanism is to celebrate the one-year anniversary of Team Human, which is a group that was started by Felicia and Ryan Day and all the wonderful fans. And it's, we've been killing it and going strong. And Hashtag Humanism is to support good deeds in public. So if you want to be in on these giveaways, we're going to be doing more throughout the rest of the week and weekend, and from TwitchCon as well. All you have to do is post something on Twitter with Hashtag Humanism of something positive. We want to enact positive change on the internet and not be a bunch of dickbags all the time. So all you have to do is go online, talk about something good that happened to you, something good that you did for somebody else. Uh, it, it'll be awesome. Just post Hashtag Humanism and tune in tomorrow to the Twitch uh, con stage. I think I'm going to be speaking from the Frank Something Theater at 4.30 p.m. tomorrow, and then on Saturday I will be on the main stream doing an interview and premiering a live highlight reel of the last couple months of Geek & Sundry at, I believe, 2.45 p.m. Uh, we'll be hosting it here, all sorts of great stuff, so thank you guys so much for being a part of this wonderful and amazing week. Thank you for watching Critical Role and getting us to the number one spot tonight. I'm really sad I can't be there. I know, right? I'm really sad. Sad I can't be there tonight. This is the first time I've been away from the stream, uh, but you guys are killing it. Thank you so much, and I challenge you all, I challenge all of you to get us to 8,000 subscribers by the end of the show. Our channel is funded off subscribers. All the wonderful people you see on stream tonight, they work off of subscriber money, so if you guys want to do us a solid and support of humanism and then subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Uh, bye, guys. Bye. Welcome back, guys. So, a uh, couple quick things before we jump into this. One, we are 38 subs from our next giveaway. Uh, giveaways of those who are active in chat. Yes. Get a signed photo of the cast of Critical Role, as well as a signed uh, piece of art. Wonderful piece of art from our kit bus is right here with us. Woo! Yay! Kit bus, kit bus, kit bus! Have you guys seen them? They're awesome. It's pretty awesome. It's a wonderful piece of art of, uh, of Keyleth transforming Earth Elemental and attacking Kavarn from the Kavarn oh. fight. Get um, on the bus! So yeah, we have that coming up. Also, we have the winner of our shirt giveaway tonight. Uh, the winner is one Blair Beverage. One Blair Beverage! Blair Beverage. Blair Beverage. Blair Beverage. Blair Beverage. Blair Beverage. Blair Beverage. We'll get this to you, so congratulations and thanks for, for watching tonight. Blair Beverage, uh, little, little smooth real talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The winner here tonight is me. <laughs> I'm so yeah. scared. You win another day. <laughs> it's been one of the most emotional nights of my life. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, as you all begin to gather around on the front of the courtyard of the palace, you can see some of the guards start rushing out uh, amongst the splinters of this uh, uh, this carriage that has been royally destroyed by many of you. Uh, the do see, wounded. Do I see that everything's everybody's safe right now? Uh, yeah, you get the sense that there is no immediate danger. Okay, I'm going to use my like lizard brain 
and sniff, sniff out immediately Alora, and I'm going to go find her. Okay. Do we see him go find her? Uh, you guys currently are too engrossed with Percy currently pinning a young boy in the ground and shooting his oh. hand off. Okay. Uh, okay. Who's currently like, please, what, what do you need? Just let me go, please. Do it, Percy. I want you to spend the rest of your life making up for the things you've allowed to happen. What did, I now take the butt of my gun and I'm going to knock him unconscious. Okay. Um, I don't quite know. I'm just rolling what I normally do, 21. 21, at the, at the point of life he has left. Whack. Yeah, he just <laughs> falls into crumples to the ground unconscious, pool of blood forming under his... Are there soldiers hand. coming? Uh, there are guards coming now from the palace. Um, put him in a cell. Wait! We can put him in our cell. Yeah. Put him in our cell. Put him in our cell. Yeah. But hit him to great so he doesn't bleed out first. You can hit, work him with your water. He's fine. He's not bleeding. He's not. It was not only damage, right? Yeah. He's not bleeding out. Well, not from the head, but he is missing three fingers from one hand and is currently pulling. All right, I'll like solder up his wounds a bit. Okay. Make sure he doesn't die. Okay. So taking care of that, he's unconscious. You guys all take a moment to breathe in and realize the danger that just transpired. Briarwood's got away. God knows they're off to. You probably gather somewhere uh, back in their their territory on their own turf. Um, and you all look about at the, the guards gathering, making questions, and there are now two guards very intensely harrying this, uh, this tiefling that kind of showed up out of nowhere and began aiding in the battle. You can see now one guard is kind of has an, uh, an arm about going towards your shoulder and says, you, what's your name? What's your business here? You do not have a pupil here to be at the palace. I have been working here for months. You did not notice? I think we would notice a tiefling in our mists. You're under arrest. Throw her in the cell. I walk forward and slap my hand on the guard's arm and say, we saved Uriel. You will stand down now. Uriel would not be alive with the people around you now. She's fine. Walk away. The guard kind of gives you a look and says, as far as we know right now, you both, all of you, attacked two of our guests in the center of our own palace. They managed to flee. We're going to investigate this. Currently, we're holding no one at immediate uh, prison sentence for this, but... You realize your That's lord good. would not be alive now were it not for us, don't you? Also, you're a common guard. <laughs> I am speaking because Tiberius would say this and he's not here right now because no. he's a little stupid at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but... I'm primal, yo. Do not interfere with the businesses that we have already arranged with people who have higher authority than you. Back off. Make an intimidation check. Oh, you. I'm not good at this yet! <laughs> I'm gonna train in it. It's but, my next, it's but, coming. But you do get a d6 inspiration dice. Oh, 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 oh and I also still have scanlins. scanlins! And I walk over and stand. Oh, if you already have scanlins, then that's all you need. Then. And I walk over and stand behind her. Uh, um, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna add my scanlin. 15. That's, All right. That's the guard kind of looks at you for a second and steps away. I mean, no offense. Understand, we've had. What's up? What's up? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of relinquishes the hand on the on, on the side of, of, of the tiefling and says, "I've. We're going to investigate this. I mean, no disrespect to you. You've been much aid to Iman. Just understand, this is a very peculiar circumstance. Please." Uh, We'll call you when it's time to get your opinions and your perspectives on the evening's events. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need to go ahead and notify. At this point, you can see now, um, uh, Tiberius, you've stepped up the front of the stairs as Alora comes uh, rushing out to inspect everything and sees you. And I go, sort of like. <laughs> uh, and I go to Lockheed and I use my telepathic bond that see I have there. with my pet and I convey to him to tell her, well, uh, I, I emote to him with my tail back of the uh, 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 link with him, and I go, uh, um, is he, let talk Arcanus. You can't even form language thoughts. But that's what I emote to him, and I. You, you, you can give him like an emotion. That's as most as you can get to him right, right now. And I try to have him telepathically tell her. Tell her what emotion? Help. Help. Okay. And I do this. She kind of steps forward and says, Tiberius, symbol for you look... I'm choking. What is it? 
And you just breathe flame out, and the canary will kind of step back for a second. Tiberius, you're right. You, you've been, you've been cursed by something. Hold on. Hold on. And she begins. She's like, she, she, she takes your head and holds you in place to kind of calm you down. Tiberius, calm yourself. She begins to ins- to inspect you and kind of running her fingers over the side of your snout and kind of like, this is not good. This is very powerful magic. I don't know if I have the capability of doing this. We need a good cleric. Um, please sit tight. Stay right here. Um, the rest of you, uh, and as the guards kind of back away, you're kind of left alone, and the rest of the group is kind of looking upon you with a curious glance. Vampires! And a tiefling! I want to inspect the carriage to see if there's anything interesting about the carriage, if there's anything oh, inside you heard. the did they, did they do anything to you? Do, it, you were unconscious. They bit I me. search him and look for any kind of mark. I don't feel right. I think I need to go to a temple. Can I do a health check on him? Oh, you can make a medicine check, sure. Uh, Percy, go ahead and roll an investigation check. I think I'm dangerous. No, no, no. 18. Okay, yeah, there are definitely two puncture wounds in the side of his neck. Uh, you need to put me in the dungeon. Grace, what? I've read about this. We bury him under the ground for five days and five nights. And all kimchi. will be better. It's kimchi. Well, it could be. It's kimchi. It could be kimchi. <laughs> Either way, it will be very tasty. (laughs) 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 Most everything that would be of interest has been destroyed, and the sheer force of the explosion, the carriages and tatters. There's not much you can really gain from it, unfortunately. What time of day is it? Uh, Time of night. Right now, it's probably cresting close to 10 or 11 p.m. Um, Would the the Serenade Temple still be open? It's like a church. They're 24 hours, right? I mean, (laughs) the temple is always there, per se. Um, I mean, there are multiple temples in the city as well. The Serenade Temple is the one you guys know best. Um, I turn and look. You. What's your name? You helped us. Your real name. You have interesting taste in enemies, almost as interesting as mine. My name is Lilith. Lilith? That's so pretty. Thank you. As are you also, might I add. Oh. Interesting taste in enemies. Do you know anything about vampires? Regrettably, not as much as I would like. But your brother, he does look uh, not not as healthy as I imagine he may usually. Are you a healer of some sort? I am not. Oh, well, what do you deal in? And why did you infiltrate the castle? I like it. That's how the British people say it. I... <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Well... Aluminium. Well... <laughs> Laboratory. Astronaut. <laughs> Let's just keep listing words, guys. <laughs> Lift. <laughs> Lift. I, I think uh, you have currently more pressing matters than my concerns, my presence here in the castle. Then you'll come with us. If that is what you wish. A yes. Where are you from? Your accent's so It's cultured. wonderfully interesting, Keyleth, but we need to get my brother to a uh, cleric. Uh, oh, mm. right, yeah. At this point in time, as you guys are discussing, and you're already nervous that you're out in the open anyway, um, you know, not under one of your various guises, um, you feel this kind of warm, bolt of, of, of heat in your kind of upper torso area, and you guys watch as suddenly across the front of her chest this strange glowing red eye-like sigil emblazons oh, no. across the front and then slowly oh. fades. I am just looking at the symbol. I'm not looking at anything else. <laughs> just a what was that? <laughs> uh, I... Uh, I... Are you all right? Are you Superman? I... Are you with the Briarwoods? No. No, but I, I, I must leave. I must leave this place right now. What, then what immediately. I, I, I drop a, a, a shroud of illusion over myself again, become the, the maid servant. Mm-hmm. Um, and and at, you guys watch her, her visual image shimmer back into that of the servant, and even through the illusion, there is still this kind of dull, pulsating, kind of red, glowing, arcane mark of an eye that's just like slowly shimmering on the front of her what torso. Is that? Can you come with us to a temple? Uh, for not long, not long. I, 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 I cannot linger. 
I cannot linger. What is that mark on you? This... This is... This is the mark of the broker. The broker? The broker. He has been seeking me, and I have been hiding here, but no longer. He has found me. This mark, it means that he... I cannot hide any longer. I must leave. You helped us in battle. Do you need us to help hide you? I would not drag you into my troubles. I know who you are. You are Vox Machina. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, here's my ah, business you card. Traveled. Yes, Some yes, of yes, you, yes. you traveled with my cousin, Zara. Oh! <gasps> oh, oh I, had a I, slumber, I had a slumber oh, party with her. She's so beautiful. Oh, I love her so awesome. much. We are, we are very close. She is a dear friend of mine, but she... She told me of you. I, I know you have your own troubles. I would not drag you into mine. <laughs> well, look, we've got to make a pit stop at the Temple of Sierra anyway. Why don't you at least join us? And then we can at least go back to Grayskull Keep for dinner because yes, yes, we yes, also yes. have to drag a, this prisoner back there. So Eddie, it's yeah. along the way. Yeah, any watcher, watcher, watcher that comes after you, we'll fight them. We're very strong right now and full of health. Yes. We protect things with Oh, tails. God! Yes, <laughs> okay, very go. painful. Um, I, I, a I, voice please. rings out suddenly from behind you towards the palace. Oh, man. All of you! Oh. Stop your business! And you look and you see there, uh, in his robe, Zuriel, oh. which you summoned, standing at the front of the palace. Oh. So, am I to understand there has been a scuffle with my guests? Your guests are vampires. Look at my brother right now. Uh. And Tiberius is... <laughs> An idiot. He's an idiot. I don't know where <laughs> he's an idiot right now. Damn it, we lost Tiberius. Where did he go? No, where did he go? He's more of an idiot. He's now. with Allura. Tiberius! He's on the steps of the front, kind of sitting there next to Allura, who's kind of like cradling him as he's kind of unsure of what's happening. Oh, do we see them? You do, yes. Oh. Um, Uriel, look, 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 look at, look at his neck. <sighs> Uriel looks at his. I'm certain there is some sort of explanation for this. Yes. Yes, you invite vampires. vampires into your palace. <laughs> You, you invited them in. We will investigate. Right, the, the Briarwoods are esteemed guests of ours and friends. So this is going to be taken very seriously. You can have whatever majors you want cast truth on me. I was bitten. This threat is real. Did Percy find anything in the... The Briarwoods murdered the Dorolos and took Whitestone. I have proof. I was there. Then we shall have to have a conversation. For the time being, take care of this one. Tomorrow, when the sun rises, find yourself back to the palace. I would like very much to speak with you. This disturbs me. I would Uriel. recommend, Uriel, disinviting them for now. We have earned your trust, have we not? You have. But as of they. If I may, my lord, uh, I, I, I was present for the, please excuse me addressing your grace, uh, but I, I was present for the battle and I, I did see, oh, quite a set of teeth he had, oh, oh, dreadful tail, and, and oh, oh, terrible, oh, flames everywhere, and ripped dresses and heaving bosoms, oh, my lord. Oh, 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 <laughs> She's just a common servant girl. She wouldn't lie. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she looks, she is traumatized. Uh, this good, this good. Was it 18? 18. Very well. Calm, calm yourself, calm yourself. It's all right, oh. darling, it's all right. Oh, oh it's the state oh, of awful. Her. We'll get you to the, to the medics if you want. No, we'll take care oh. of her for now. Oh. All right, oh. well. I'm getting the vapors. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Take care of her. <laughs> Take care of her. We'll talk tomorrow. Talk to her soon as well. And Bring again. me what proof you have. Talk. These are to very, yeah, where very is Hus Husun? serious things you're discussing. Uh, and we'll just talk to him in the morning. We need to get to a we gotta go. We gotta go. Well, you guys, you guys gather up. Uh, I uh, turn into a horse. All right. And pick up Vax and Vex and take them to Sarai. Mm -hmm. okay, Leap onto the back of Keyleth as it rides off. I hold on to your mighty mane. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then him as well. Uh, this is uh, dangerous. Allura kind of takes Tiberius, take, take you by the elbows, and, and leads you over to the rest of the group as they ride off. Like, <laughs> if you are indeed going to a cleric, perhaps you should take Tiberius with you. He is not well. He no. seems totally. It's totally normal to me. <laughs> uh, seems like every day. 
<laughs> yep, yep, that's pretty much basic him. <laughs> is Seeker Assume still around? No, uh, Seeker Assume currently is nowhere near the situation. He's I lick all here. of Vox Machina. <laughs> all that are present, because many are now riding away on a horse. Whatever. <laughs> but the rest of them get a fine licking. Oh, gee, oh, no! Ah. I lick Frog the most. All right. <laughs> Smells like flies. You all eventually make your way to the Temple of Saren Ray. Uh, the, the lantern light of the interior of the temple's uh, main structure is low, as it is late in the evening. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the gates are always open. And as you enter, uh, you are greeted by two uh, two clerics that are dressed in you know, long, glowing, kind of uh, long flowing uh, yellow and gold robes, uh, and there is one elderly cleric that you recall, the one that led the resurrection ritual on Pike, not but uh, almost a year ago, actually. I, I hop down off of Keyleth. I'll you down as well. And say, please, please, sir, I, I hope we're not disturbing you, but we need your help again. I totally eat it and just hit the ground. Ah, really? Um, that wasn't my are, fault this time. The two are clear, step away as the older one steps forward. Uh, you know, he's kind of balding on top, this long, strongly kind of white gray hair that kind of... Uh, I go up to him and start cool. sniffing him. Uh. <laughs> as you approach, he puts his head up. He used to be a very intelligent sorcerer. This is part of the problem. Mm. There does appear to be an arcane residue on this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, we we could hope to cleanse him of this. Um, come, come, enter. Uh, light, light the lanterns, and the clerics so often start like turning up uh, the various lanterns and, and the, the magical light source within as you enter the center of the temple. Uh, a cold ripple sensation begins to curl around the back of your neck as you step in. Um, as you do step in, too, the two clerics give you a look and are uncomfortable with the presence. And as it has, you guys. Through your travels, have encountered very, very few tieflings, let alone on this continent. In fact, most of them you met were in Vasselheim. This one in Iman is standing out like a sore thumb, and everyone seems to be just a little put off by her presence. I thought she was disguised. That's right. You are, never mind. I ever tried that entire sequence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still looking nervous. He I'm still looking nervous. As she comes out of this feverish daydream, none of that happened. <laughs> <laughs> you catch your breath. I'm so glad that didn't happen. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Dynasty. Illusions. Illusions. Very old. Um, all right, so as you guys enter uh, the center of the, uh, of, of the chamber, they begin burning various incense. Uh, as, as you step up, the cleric says, well, the, understand the, these services are intensive in the, the, the costs required to present them. Do you We'll pay whatever cost you need. No, we should haggle, don't you think? No. Clerics, <laughs> come on. I lick the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> the cleric, no, that's, that, that's, that's, that's how much How much will it take to save our friends? Sir, anything. Uh, this, for this one, uh, you require a, a donation to the Temple of Serenray of 100 gold pieces. Oh, oh right. done, Easy. done. Easy. Steps forward and touches the side of your head in your temple and begins to focus. The Saren Ray holy symbol begins to glow against the front of his clavicle, and suddenly you can see these kind of strange gray-like veins that had kind of wrapped around the sides of Tiberius's head retract, dissipate, and then fade as intelligence swells back into your brain. And for the first time in at least the past half an hour or so, you are back to being Tiberius Stormwind. Well, that's uncalled. Uh, is that going to be like side effects or something? Is no, that... I just wanted to really do that. Uh, that was really inconvenient. Let's hook backs. Oh, <laughs> you're with us again. Yes. Oh, well, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. How was it uh, being dumb? Yeah, was I, it kind of nice? Actually, I was quite frightened most of the time. Oh. I didn't know what was going on. Oh, I'm and sorry. I Are you okay? I couldn't cast spells and uh, I, I, it was, let's hook backs. Sure. You, d you didn't shit yourself, so you're a winner. That's a good thing. That's good. Yes. yes. You shit yourself, Fax. Cast puts his agitation on his butt. <laughs> oh! Okay. What the? Oh. You're clean, don't worry. Let's oh. keep You're clean. Keep um, you're clean. As you bring Vax forward, the cleric is forward and tells us to do magic. And, and what is wrong with this? He was one? bitten by something quite unholy. That's wrong. Well, the good news is if you're standing here, then. Most of the danger is gone. However, um, there might be some residual of the infection. Uh, he kind of brings forward and inspects it for a second and reaches into the couch and pulls out some herbs and kind of presses them into it and burns a little bit. As, as the Ooh, do I recognize what herbs he's using? I make a nature check. Nature check? Oh, yes. yeah. Is it 
it sticky? <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa! 19, so 29. This is glisfoil. Glisfoil is used uh, by, by many medicinal practitioners as a means of burning away infection <laughs> and cleansing wounds. He didn't even look didn't down. He Obviously, just said it. it was glisfoil. Yeah, who didn't know that here, honestly? Really? I suppose the name he kind of looks at you. As long as this doesn't get infected, it should be all right. Um, uh, I assume, based on what you say and the nature of these wounds, that this is some sort of... They uh, drank his blood. Vampirism. Yeah. From what I know of vampirism, uh, it requires many tastes of your life force and then bringing you to the threshold of death and beyond to truly turn you. I Listen, Doc, I, I can't bite my... my my, my, anybody here? I, are you sure? Lest this is some unnatural thing beyond classic vampirism, you should be fine. No, pretty unnatural. Well, any the vampirism is pretty unnatural. Buttholes. But yes. Right. Um, uh, excuse me. I'm Do you actually have any extra of that glist oil, or maybe any seeds that I could take with me? That way I can just keep up on his, you know. Daily Keep disinfection in his wounds? Certainly. He kind of reaches into the pouch and pulls out a small handful of this foil, and it's, it's like a dried, kind of yellowish green leaf that kind of curls on itself a little bit. And he gives oh, it to you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, as that happens, I go, I, I reach for my decanter, and I, because uh, I can control the charge, it's just charge, but I dissipate the charge, but I'll still keep it for a little bit. Actually, we don't need it. I dissipate the whole thing. Uh, and I turn to the cleric, I go, and I, on one knee, I go, oh, holy man, which cured my mind. Uh, would you be so graceful as to use the force of ceremony to bless the water in my canteen? To what the water? To bless. bless oh, bless. Yes. And I hold it up above my head way too dramatically. Is it, uh, I, there are rituals for this, but they take some time. If you would like to leave it here, we could make use of this and bless the contents of it, yes. No, I just thought you could like do a har Hanumasana and get me out of here. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. <coughs> but should you indeed require such a blessing, we, we would be happy to oblige. Wonderful! How many days, give or take, do you think that might take to accomplish? Uh, for that amount, there are two days. Oh, wonderful. Are we going to be for two days, guys? Probably. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave it with you and do be do be do. All right. Uh, for, for this volume. He kind of looks at it. It's like, is this, this, this is an enchanted vial, is it not? Yes. Good eye. I'm curious to see how this will interact with the enchantment, but we can, we'll, we'll try. Um, we'll put it at a 25 gold donation for the two days of enchantment. I'll give you 50. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for your service. Generous. Place Generous. Place Generous. Place. The other 25 was for my brain. brain. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes. is there anything else I can do to help you this evening? Uh, how, uh, you know, thank you for all your assistance. Did he tell us a prize for, for fixing vats? That was yeah. simple disinfection. There's no price for that. We're happy to thank you. heal you. here. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Our friend see. Pike would be much, much grateful for yes. your service. Pike Trickfoot. Yes. yes, do you remember her? She's like, a devotee of your She's in Vasselheim restoring another Temple of Serenray at this moment. Spreading the good word. Part of our this, team. This deep smile kind of brings his face from this, this this melancholy attentiveness to this like this warmth that you hadn't seen before. And he goes, oh, I had not known that Our Lady had reached as far as Vasselheim. Oh it appears you've messed yourself. Sorry, is that, <laughs> is that blessed the holy water? I'm sorry. <laughs> Personal hesitation. Oh, I paid for that. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm happy to hear that, that she has continued carrying the faith to distant lands and, and that she has recovered well since our last meeting. She has. She's thriving. Good. And one more thing before we leave. Yes. If you need any items, be they, be they gear or blades, go to Gilmore's. <laughs> Gilmore's glorious goods today. 
<laughs> you don't have to sell it. I'm, we're supposed to plug him, we right? Don't. I don't know. Uh, that was make a, a little, big, make a persuasion. It was a little ham <laughs> fisted, but he does speak the <laughs> truth. Gil, Gilmore makes a quality yeah. item. <laughs> totally. 20, Sorry. 25. That yeah. was very awkward, Scott. <laughs> but it's true. Gilmore. <laughs> I think I've seen that shop around. Mm -hmm. They're, they're opening a shop here in, just kidding, yes. Yeah, there's a shop here. Yeah, there is a shop here. They're opening another, oh, well, in white front, yeah. Well, me and the clerics may have to, mm -hmm. to go and see it then. You tell them yeah. Vox Machina sent you. Yes. And you get 10% off. No, I don't think, no. You might, if you say, No, I don't think. Vaxil Dan sent you, you might get 15. <laughs> yes. Good to know, yes, I appreciate yes. that. <laughs> Nevertheless, I, Sleep calls to me, I, I must get back to Sleep you. calls to us as well, sir. Well, yes. Good night and a good you. All. Thank you for opening hey, Oh, what, what was your name for the next time we have a dead ally? <laughs> yes. Uh, good. 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 Thank you, Cleric Tristan. Of course. Blessed be Sarah and Ray's name. Blessed be. Membership card. Amen. And I awkwardly bow you out and say, See you in two days, almighty brain fixer. Oh, <laughs> back. The lights dim on the inside of the temple as you exit, and uh, you guys step out into the, the cold night air on the streets of Iman. Oh, I'm alive! <laughs> oh, that was loud. <sighs> Give it. <laughs> sorry, so yes. I'm sorry so about that. sorry to everyone watching at home for blowing out the mic, that but god damn it, I'm alive. That was a really yes. that was That's close. Stressful. To celebrate. That, that was, was really close. stressful. I have no um, idea what happened. Yeah, well, actually, uh, while we walk back to, <laughs> yeah, to Grey Skull, what happened? Uh, you. I I thought I thought that I could get a peeky poo at what they actually were. Who they were, and uh, and let's face it, I fucked up. Is what I did. And yeah. Grog, you were very brave. You may uh, shave off my pubic region or draw a dick on my head if you want tomorrow. Uh, Vexalia, I'm sorry for not staying close by. Uh, Scanlan, we're good. I uh, saved your life. So. Tiberius, <laughs> uh, you are smart and I am very stupid. You are extremely handsome and I am ugly. I don't disagree with any of that. It's and, uh, Oh, damn it. <laughs> it would have been true like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. And Percy, I'm especially sorry. Uh, to you most of all. We weren't ready. You we weren't failed. ready. You. It's, we haven't failed. It's not over yet. I'm not done. We'll hunt them down. They said your family was still there. They're liars. Our family's dead. We'll track them down, we'll find them, we'll kill them and seek revenge. And uh, then we'll loot their bodies. Uh, I, I don't think we'll we have are. to. You don't think we'll have to? I think they're going to find us. How will they, they, they won't attack us. They, they, sure we're many they and they're few. Will. That we know of. Just because we're in a keep does not mean we are safe. We need to set alarms around our keep. We yeah, also need I to agree. protect our new friend, Lilith Fair over here. That's not, I don't. Is that your last name? Well, she's white, so I thought she's. maybe. It's not, <laughs> it's what? My family name is Datorai. Oh, no. uh, how do you spell that? <laughs> In your tongue, <laughs> D-A-T-U-R-A-I. Oh. I lost track after the D. <laughs> You've had a rough evening, is understandable. Mm. I hope you've learned your lesson. It'll be two weeks at, at least before I do anything. Quite yes, so I have. stupid <laughs> yes, and I reckless. Have. Yes, I have. Why didn't you... You knew we had like a code word. We had Jumanji. We had Jenny Oh, yeah. Sorry. Damn Where's Trinket? At this point, you look, you, you look back. At this point, you see as you guys are heading towards the outside of, of or reaching the outer wall of Iman. Behind you, Darlene. <laughs> rubs up against hug, hug, you. Hug, 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 hug. This giant bear comes running by. Died. I almost died. Did you know I almost died, darling? <laughs> 
<laughs> licks out of your face. I lean in and lick, and I, and I lick his yeah. nose yeah. with my own tongue, and then I let him lick me all over the face. <laughs> 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 Vax, so, uh, don't know what you're missing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your risk. I just. Yes, you were foolish, but thank you. I walk up to Vax and I extend my hand and I say, I'm glad you didn't die. <laughs> I love you, Grog. Um, would you like to draw uh, balls on my forehead? And I reach back and I backhand him as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Roll, roll an attack. I don't move at all, I just take it. <laughs> oh, 22. Go ahead and roll a d4. Divided by two. That's, that's a six, that's a six. No, it's two. <laughs> two plus your strength modifier, which I believe is four. So you take six points of backhand bludgeoning damage as Grog just whack, 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 the echo from the impact. <laughs> and I say, <clears throat> no one kills you but me. <laughs> Kind of deserve that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go get some rest, shall we? Yes, but we'll have you. to prepare ourselves for an, an attack, or perhaps stalk them and kill them. Whoa. Well, we're going to find out in a minute. And Let's don't we have a the... prisoner in our? We yes. Do. And we have a guest. Yes, and we still haven't found what the the broker, who he is, or what he is. Do you need to run from the broker, or can you stay with us for a few days? Do you owe some money? I don't understand. How I don't think it's well money. guarded against scrying is your keep? Not scrying? at all. Scrying? Not then at all. We what have about your room? Uh, oh, yes. Scrying? You, 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 you're guarded you against scrying in your room? Guards against scrying? Have, no. you, have you got guards? Guards. Oh, yes, of course. Guards. Is that true? Guards. Against scrying. Oh my god, scrying. I'm pretty sure we would have to have an enchantment on our keep that would guard against scrying. As you guys are having this discussion, oh. a voice rings out behind you and says, Oh, don't worry. It's not going to help you. <gasps> Is that a little shitty miss, Mr. One, miss in one hand? Uh, what was that? No, you turn around and look, and uh, you can see uh, a gentleman standing there, about 25 feet away from you. Uh, you see. Uh, darkened brown and black, studded leather armor with a cloak over one shoulder. Uh, standing straight with a grin, uh, deep, deep, dark red skin, uh, burning yellow eyes and jet black slicked hair between two horns that jut back. Oh. Uh, tiefling the stands there, looking forward, okay. uh, with two individuals flanking from side to side that are slowly stepping. I don't know what they do, but I'm raising my arm up. I take Who the goes hammer. there? Who I are you? The fire. We've had a really bad day. Uh, the, the the tiefling, uh, the, the male tiefling, he steps yes, forward and uh, says, I have no quarrel with any of you. We've been scouring the city for a fugitive for a number of weeks, and as luck would have it, you guys happen to smoke her out of a hole. I go ahead and crack my staff on the ground and cast anti-life shell. Okay. <laughs> and are they at the door? Get close to me. We're like you guys are walking from the outside of the wall Where to your keep. Uh, right now, yeah. they are coming from Iman. Like you guys are kind of you're in this kind of in between section between your. We're keep outdoors and now. We've left the temple. You are yeah. yes. Okay. Um, and uh, we're going to go why. ahead and have you guys roll initiative. Oh, get close to me! Get close to me! You have started this. Wait, get close. <laughs> what? Um, what? Did I? But it's a spell I cast on myself. Right. Casting spells. Generally, for most people who know that's Natural a bad idea. Natural 20! All right, so, from a visual perspective here. Um, yo, stone skins up, dude. I didn't get to say that shit. Hey, yo. That's what's going on. Hey, hey, yo. All right, so, stone skins up on you. I tell that shell. Stay who is where at this point? Stay okay. close to me. I'm in between. Tibbs and Lilith I are in the front, right? Because we both took Vax. aggressive postures. Yeah. The closer, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, the closer to me you are, the more you'll be guarded by the shell. I'm near so Lilith. Lilith. Is there. You said I want to be guarded. Lilith. You can still fight right around I'm, it. I'm near they Lilith. just can't get in. Okay, so you're over there with her. Alrighty. Uh, Trinket is Where? over to the side here. And, and, Grog, we, have, and we have a prisoner. Uh, this, as, I'm as next close to the right? The prisoner was brought to your keep by the guards. Okay. Yeah. already there. As close to the enemy as possible. Tiberius okay. and I took the aggressive stance. Yes, yeah, so you guys would be up that way. All right. Oh no, why are there 
there more than one person? You said two people yeah, flying yeah, right? inside. Oh, shit, I wasn't uh, as you look at this point, you notice that the um, the two individuals uh, to the left, there is a sickly looking older woman with dark, verdant clothing that flow and drag behind her. To the right is a shirtless humanoid with darker, scarred skin, a uh, very muscular, uh, shirtless torso wearing a white, featureless mask over the face. And they both kind of curl on the sides. Um, at this point, uh, the uh, so the initiative was what's the initiative order here? So who got twenty five to twenty? Alrighty, nice. So uh, twenty. Twenty. Twenty one. All right. And twenty. And twenty for you as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Um, twenty to fifteen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nice. Grab what you get. Eighteen. Eighteen. My magic hand. Uh, fifteen to ten. Thirteen. Thirteen. Eleven. Alrighty. Percy? Uh, 12. What's the key if you got 11? 11. All right, let's go. Bringing up the rears. All right, uh, is that everybody? Cool, we're good. So, as you, <clears throat> how was the radius of the anti-life shell? Anyone within 10 feet of me. So a decent amount right now. Not Tiberius, not Scanlan. Not trinket. Not technically grog. Grog would be a front right there. So it's ten for radius you. And no. what does it do? Intellectual. Um, nothing aside from undead and constructs can get into it. You can still cast spells and like like fire bows. Oh, you can still do stuff. It's not. Cool. We can wow. go out. They just can't get in. That's all right. That's awesome. That's very cool. Handy. So, the top of the round, the broker goes. Oh shit. With initiative. High dex character. That is the broker. Yeah. Sweet Lilith. You've been a very bad girl. Oh. Nefertiri, Nefspira, and Belenor would all like to have a word with you. They've paid quite a bit of sum, proven legally. You need to be taken back. Now, to your friends here, it's your choice. The easy way, or the hard way. I use Minor Illusion, one of my cantrips, and I I puff up like a cloud of nightmare, and I glow, and my eyes come alight, my tail whips, my fangs get longer. Oh, I bet you did. I bet, I bet they paid you so much. You tell my sister I hope her face still festers. Oh. So this is made, and with that, he vanishes. Oh. Shit. Oh. That ends his turn. Wait, was he casting that? Was uh, he cast vanish? There, there was a casting, yes. Wait, counter spell. All right, go ahead and roll the 20. <laughs> fourth, yes. fourth level, two. All right. You mean sixth level? Have, um, no. No. No, no, no. no. no it's, uh, a, it's a spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, my what? Is this? Uh, what? <laughs> my what? What do we? What do I add to it? My oh what? no! It just fails. You don't have to roll for this one. This is invisibility. Uh -huh. So as he goes to vanish, all of a sudden you there's a reaction. Put out your counter spell, and his his image shimmers and then returns. Sucker! Oh, that's not even fair. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got to do much today, <laughs> and you won't either. Nice. Very good. Um, well, he's then going to use his uh, move action to shift over this way. To there. All right, that ends him. Lilith, you're up. Okay. Uh, uh, mm, uh, I would like to. By a vowel. Come on, get bus! Come on, fuck him up! Come on, fix him! Come on, get bus! Can I use Phantasmal Killer again, please? If you'd like to, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, against which one? Uh, against the broker. All right. Uh, 
Right. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and make his wisdom saving throw. Uh, no. What's your DC? 17. All right. So go ahead and roll 4d10 psychic damage. 4d10. Do you need extra ones? Well, I might do. He's a gold one for you. Thank you. Get on the express oh, boss. Wow. I have so many pretty dice right now. It's lovely. Um, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, so twenty-nine. Ooh, that's a really good. That's a good bit of um, so, <laughs> hey, hey. so, this is this is kind of blending in because uh, the spell usually triggers on the start of his next turn. Mm -hmm. This is kind of you both going at the same time and conjoining your like your your a minor illusion fear into hitting him with this with the spell not working. It's this combination of everything hitting at once. Um, all right, and as that hits, you can see it kind of looks at you, and his expression goes from like glee to terror. And it's like immediately reconsidering his decision here. Uh, do you want to stay where you are to move? Um, I'll stay where I am. All right, uh, that ends your turn. Vex, you're up. Tiberius, you're up. At the same time, we'll go with Vex. First. I want to tell Trinket to cannonball. Oh, oh yeah. the two lined up right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Trinket rolls forward. And both of them try to move out of the way. They both get their deck save. Uh, All right, so uh, Boker manages to pull out of the way just in time. However, the um, uh, the other, the big, uh, thicker character doesn't quite have the dexterity to shift out of the way and takes the full impact. Um, Okay. Uh, he suffers uh, 14 points of bludgeoning damage as he <laughs> tears through. <laughs> nice! Yeah, awesome. it. Go drink it! He is knocked prone. Yes! Good job, buddy! Yes. Little buddy. Uh, so that, that's uh, trinkets. Yes. Uh, so then I get a move. You get a move. Still. I mean, I get an action. So I'm going to attack him. I'm going to attack the broker. Okay. Uh, so for, for how that works, for you and your bear, because that, that, that's his, his attack this turn. I mean, yes. Um, he does, I'm assuming that's his attack, or was that his move? Well, that, that's his attack. Yeah. Um, you as part of these master, it's been a while since you attack a trinket. So I get, I get <laughs> to attack, I get to have trinket attack, mm -hmm. and then I get to attack. Once, right, yeah. Wait, attack action plus trinket attack. What is this? One attack for me and two attacks Trinkets for two tree. attacks. You can make a weapon attack yourself while commanding it. So yeah, you get one weapon attack. Okay. I think you should erase that and write seven. It. As Trinket yeah, goes by, since it didn't hit that him, he gets an attack opportunity on it. Trinket does hit. Trinket does take uh, seven points of slashing damage from the broker as he misses him and hits him as he goes by. Whoa, but no, he's uh oh, <coughs> but he's got armor on. Yeah. Yep. All right, fine. <laughs> Roll the um, 21 to hit, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna shoot an arrow. Go for it. Okay. Uh, that would be 26. 26 against the broker? Yeah. All right, go for it. Four, 14, and I'm gonna assume I mean, it's probably way, way too far, but I want to keep my hunter's mark on Lord Briarwood for the time being. So I'm not gonna break that, even though he's probably far away. Okay. All right, so it's just 14 damage to the broker. All right. Uh, the broker's gonna make a concentration check. You are, uh, you succeeds. are really cool. Cool. Maintains concentration. You always have been cooler than me. All right, so as the arrow <laughs> kind of boosts out of the way, it hits the armor and splinters past, not actually dealing any physical damage, but you see the broker is now visibly shaken by two members of the party, and it's starting to sweat, starting to beat. This confidence that it's strolled into is quickly failing. Um, all right, that ends Lex's turn. Tiberius. Um, and there's. Okay. Uh, I can. Can I see the broker where I'm at now? Uh, Krog's kind of in the way you can barely see. It, so. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter because I can see good enough. Uh, I'm going to spend three sorcery points and heighten my spell. Okay. And I'm going to, which gives disadvantage on both those two rolls, I'm going to cast a fifth level fireball right on the cusp where it hits those two buttholes. Like, like here? Careful of trinket. 
Yeah, yeah he's fine. Right there, right there would hit both of them and not hit Trinket. There it is. Okay, so they both have disadvantage on their saving throws? Mm hmm. That's what Heightened Spell does. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, as you arc around the side, you release the one single beam of flashing uh, red energy, kind of sparks it into the finger, it lops forward. <laughs> With a gargantuan explosion, red flames swirl into the area, kind of sending the whole area, the dark part of this night open field, alight. And you see all the green, uh, dried uh, grass is immediately burnt to a black crisp. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Um, what's the DC? Uh, 17. Yeah, they both fail with disadvantage. <laughs> nice. Full damage. All the dice. All of them. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and then I'm gonna spend one one sorcery point to empower the spell. Um, and then I'm gonna use the six, but I'm going to choose one, two, Holy three, crap. four, five, and six to re-roll. Right? I think how handy one. that would have been against the Briarwoods. <laughs> <laughs> six, okay. Reroll these. Much, Much better. better. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is that, guys? This is the monster. That's amazing. Twelve. Uh, you can only use one meta magic option on a spell when you cast it. Empower spell is the only one that doubles with any other uh, uh, meta magic. I can do. Oh, interesting. Good enough. Thank you for the heads up. <clears throat> That's cool. I like that. Uh, Thirty-eight, forty-one. Uh, Forty-six. Forty-six. Whoa. Wow. <clears throat> <laughs> Building up in you, Tiberius. That as the as the uh, explosion bursts forth, the flames kind of dissipate, and you can see the broker there looking angry, frightened. Immediately, it takes some of the flame. Before he does that, I go. <laughs> I look over at Keelan and I do a bonus action. I cast Misty Step, and I go right next to her in the anti shield. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you vanish behind her, and as he pulls back the flames and then releases them, they snake between everyone. Go ahead and make a uh, make a dexterity save throw. Can he get through the life? Uh, I, I, I make it, but uh, it's fire. It's just right. Uh, it, uh, it is fire. Damage. Good. Uh, instead of missing it, I'm going to <laughs> swallow it. <clears throat> What's twenty? My dex was there. Twenty. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No. Good. Good. Thank you for the heads up on that. So yeah. Uh, so you. So you it? take. So you take half damage. Is there a bird that yes. falls? As as uh, the the angry tiefling hits you with a hellish rebuke. That's what we call shock um, spells. <laughs> oh, smoke through my nose. Uh, it would be seven damage. Okay. You take half damage from fire, so that brings four. You take four <laughs> fire damage as you take the the, the hellish rebuke's burst of, of flaming dark arc and energy and, <laughs> and swallow it. And take it in. You blow it out the sun nostrils, and it burns, but damn, does it look cool. Uh, <laughs> That's my turn. All right, Scanlan, you're up. Me? Shit. Is that the old lady over there? Over here on the side, yeah. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just take a step towards her, and I'll, I will try. I've never, it's never worked for me. It probably won't work. Yeah, I'll try eye bite on her. This is the right. time. Go for it. Right here, right now. Uh, what do I roll? I'm doing it through my horn of clarity. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, wisdom saving throw on on her end. Uh, what's your DC on that? That's a 19. 19. No, it does not make it. Okay. So what are you choosing? I choose. I choose sleep. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. So. Goodbye, old lady. <laughs> comes around. She's she's holding this this kind of gnarled wand in her hand. As she comes around, she looks at the strange look. Oh, she. Oh, I just sleep. <laughs> Yes! yes! Unconscious on the ground, <laughs> sleeping. Awesome. Well done. That's awesome. I didn't watch Matt Law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and then I will just inspire uh, our new tiefling friend with just kind of a little, little sexy dance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel so right inspired? Now. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, so you take a D10 inspiration dice. Okay. Um, you know, it, it makes you laugh. It's le less of an attraction, think more of like, oh, oh, gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> They're so oh, small. How, how <laughs> special. <laughs> All right, that ends your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Grog, you're up. Well, everybody's doing new stuff. Mm. Uh, with uh, 50 foot <laughs> speed, can I get to the far side of the old lady that's sleeping? Uh, yeah, you can. Do that. Can I get like behind her so I put a 
you need a laser pointer. Oh, so yeah, you, can... you want to get right there, right? Yes, yeah, on the opposite side of her from where I am. She's asleep, what are you going to do? Kill that motherfucker! Uh, <laughs> you can get there. She'll wake up. That's what I'd like she to do. She will wake up. Unless you cleave her in half. That's Grandma she... Moses. It's wrong! I take out the javelin anything. of lightning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I whisper the command word, which is Penelope. And <laughs> Wait, I, that's my mother's name. <laughs> and I throw it Synchronicity. Uh, in a straight line, which will hit all three of them oh. in, a, in a five foot wide line oh. that extends 120 feet. You're so smart, bro. You just did math. Look at you. <laughs> you, you, you did math. You did math. Yeah. You did math. Dumb guy. He knows things. I know. It's five foot wide, so it'll hit. If it goes in a straight line, it'll hit him in one of these. Or her and one of these two guys. Uh, the, it hits everything in a five oh, foot. Oh, uh, the guy that's standing. Uh, oh, broker. Okay. Yeah, the broker. Right. The broker. So you pull it out, and as you throw it kind of downward, the the javelin as it, re oh, as it leaves no, your no, hand no. goes from a metallic blade to a a bolt of arcing electric energy that slams downward. Uh, Penelope does uh, not Penelope. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> shouting it at me. Uh, the, the, the old one on the ground gets no saving throw because she's unconscious and uh, takes takes double damage. Double damage. Maybe that wow. is her name. We don't know. You keep shouting it at me. The forty-six. 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 That's awesome. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, 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 fourteen. Okay. You killed that old woman. So Give good. me my gold. And if he makes right. a saving throw of 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 the uh, DC thirteen, it's half. So um, the John Arkstrush goes towards there, and then uh, does make a dexterity saving throw against that it's a very high dexterous guy. So it takes it takes a little shot though. Right. So it takes a little bit of damage, which was what was it you rolled for that? It was the fourteen. Oh, uh, for uh, yeah, fourteen. So, so seven lightning damage for that, and then make a ranged attack from the actual javelin. What is that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have that on here. I have no idea. What do you? Like? Oh, so sorry. That was against the target. Never mind. Because he was the target. So yeah, he just takes the impact of the hit. So the the lightning bolt arcs through the old woman. She kind of <laughs> shakes awake, screaming as the energy. The bolt arcs upward from the ground, and right before it goes to the, towards the broker, as he kind of rears back in fear, it solidifies into the javelin once again and <laughs> slams into the front of his torso. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Pulls it out. Currently, kind of shakes it for a second, looking at it confused. I look at Ty and I go, "I did magic! It was very impressive." <laughs> Good job, Grog. Good job, Grog. Thank you, Penelope. <laughs> That's my mother's name. All right. Yeah, uh, I wonder why he named his. Oh no, he got up. That gets up no and idea. only has a half move. Think about it. Sorry. <laughs> she can be a stick in the mud. Can you get there. that close? Uh, on half movement, yeah. Let's go with that. Runs up to you. Uh, as it does, so you can see. Oh, I see you. Got it. Yeah, now cool. it's okay. holding on the side <laughs> a, uh, a big. Wait, wait, hey, what's he doing? He ran up to Vax? Gets up and goes bolting towards you, arcing around the side. You can see he the face. He runs smack dab yeah. into my wall. My arcane, my anti-life anti -life shell. Anti-life shell does. blocks living things. They can't come in. Unless you invite them. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> vampires. It's a 10 foot radius, is it right? Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, then Back it's. Axel down flips him to double birds as he hits the wall. From inside the wall. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> no. So it's unable to just runs for it and then hits the bear and kind of skids past and holds the place to there instead, then. Kind of keeping That's the outskirts. That's unfortunate. <laughs> However, has a spear. Oh yeah. shit! Uh, <laughs> uh, Bring it, son. Still rushes around, both hands on it, yeah. <laughs> arcing towards you with it. That is going to be. Use uncanny dodge, of course. Well, uh, that's okay. Uh, it rolled a three to hit. Uh, <laughs> plus eight. It's going to be an eleven. No, just whoosh, you, it, it swings wide with the spear, and you just. Whoosh, Sorry, prop. prop. Going very poorly for them. Uh, all right, back to your turn now. Okay, so I look around at all these amazing people that I am <laughs> so blessed to be with, and barely even looking, I just go dagger, dagger, dagger over this asshole's head at uh, the broker. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the first one is not that great, but it's all right. It's an 18. These guys are kind of dickheads, so. All right, 18 against Broker, just barely hits. All right, that's, uh, where's my pyramid? There it is. Dagger, that's uh, 10 points of damage. And then the second dagger hits him, I hope, uh, for uh, 19. All right, that is it, yep. For uh, 10 points of damage. And then, hey, I'll throw my dagger of venom at him. We'll see what happens. Oh, sure. the same hit, same amount. So the last one hit, this one hits. And that's uh, three, this is nine. Nine damage, and... Plus he has to make a saving throw against a DC 15 for poison. Uh, Constitution is going to fail that. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> oh, that's not the right die is what that is. Uh, the poison damage is to, that's not great, 10. Nice. 10 points of poison. Wait. You are awesome. <laughs> what if... Lilith is the bad guy, and this guy's Lilith a good not. guy. Lilith's not, she helped us. <laughs> Kit Boss is not a bad guy. <laughs> what, if she's, what if she's a All right, shithead, and this guy's a good cop? Where I am? Yes. What if she it's rapes kids No, yeah, I back up. Uh, I don't know. No, 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 I stay right. <laughs> I stay right. All right, uh, Percy, you're up. Okay, I'm going to walk to the very edge of the, um, I'm going to just walk to the very edge of the, of the spell right here, so I'm standing one Closer. Uh, closer to our to our friend there. Uh, not just to you. I, I want to be close to the to the big strong schmuck. Okay, so right there. Um, is the is the broker holding anything? Is he using a weapon or a uh, broker? You see, has a was like a short sword out. And he's currently kind of like tossing and catching it. Just a short sword. Yeah. Or he's tossing and catching, but like <clears throat> he's having a bad day. The broker was not prepared for box knocking him. Okay. Before I start to do anything, I'm going to look at him, look him in the eye. What is wrong with you? Don't you see there is nothing here for you? Run away before you die. There is no option, and I'm just going to start unloading. Natural 20. <laughs> Damn, son! Hyperbox. What is wrong with you? Percival to something, 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 Rolo the third, you badass motherfucker. <laughs> That's 16 points of damage. This is to the broker or to the. Uh... To the broker. I'm just okay. shooting at the okay. broker. 16 points? 16 points That's, of damage. That, that is doubling the dice? That's oh. doubling both. Okay. Uh, now a sharpshooter shot. Uh, the broker's, uh, broker can't, you already used its reaction. Uh, sharpshooter shot misses. And another shot, uh, seven. Uh, 19. 19 hits. All right. Cool. That's eight points of damage. All right. Blowing an action surge and firing three more times. Three more. Uh, that's that's unfair. 25. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> Wild waste person. And the head. That's uh, 10 points of damage plus four points of fire damage. That's where the bully get the horns. <laughs> um, this, uh, and a, a sharpshooter shot, that's uh, 22. Um, that's uh, 21 points of damage. Another sharpshooter shot with ice fire. Um, that and finally, I, I get the I get the breakdown on that one. Oh, I actually have a I have a I have the, the, the gun jam ice fire and I put it away. But okay, that was awesome. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was pretty dope. Do I have one more? How many fired shots do I get? One, two, three, four. Was that five shots or six shots? That, that was five. Sh I mean, all, all in all, it was six yeah, shots. Five six shots. shots. <laughs> um, so I'm out of, I'm out of, all right, I don't yeah. have any more actions. That's okay, first and foremost, how do you want to do this? Ah! <laughs> See the nostril! <laughs> the <little> nostril <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna feel bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something weird here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you on to this. I'm gonna get a little weird, and I'm just taking straight chest shots, and I'm just firing chest shots, and I'm just making a hole the size of a baseball in his chest. <laughs> and as it happens, as I keep unloading, the gun still breaks, and I'm still pulling oh. pulling the trigger. <laughs> you fool! Your soul is forfeit. Die! Die! I'm gonna look at the other two and start pulling out my bigger gun. Oh shit. Uh, make an intimidation <laughs> check with. And advantage. putting on the fucking.
fucking mask with a d6 inspiration dice. Takes a bad day to do your job, son. He's putting the mask on. With a d6 inspiration. And advantage. With oh, advantage. And a d6. Oh, um, this is yeah, take that one. embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. 17. Uh, oh, oh, uh, Wait, intimidation, 17? 19. Where's the pool? Okay. So, uh, mask, gun, fuck it. <laughs> like, standing there, smoking giant hole, center of tombstone style, in the center of the chest. Or no, there would be no dripping, except for the carterization of the oh, heat rounds that exploded right. in his chest. It is just a, a, a blackened, cinderous tube. Where there once there was a chest cavity, uh, the broker kind of <laughs> just falls onto his back with this smoldering spiral of black smoke pouring forth from the chest wound on the ground. Uh, as you stare at the other two, kind of screaming that out, you can see the old woman who's still on the ground <laughs> looks extremely out of place and, and freaked out. Sorry, um, Doris, you better lie down. <laughs> <laughs> the masked individual, from what you can tell from behind the eyes of the mask, does not seem to be emotionally affected by this. Oh, also, right just me. checking. The guy is, right in front of back? Does, does, my, does my glove still have a charge, by the way? Uh. It may. Okay. I mean, like, is there like any indication that it would have like a slight glow? There was a slight vibration. Okay. To it? Cool. Yeah. All right. That ends your turn. That's the end of my turn. All right. Uh, the, the old woman gets up. <laughs> um. I feel happy. I feel alive. <laughs> Did we get the lotto tickets? Ah, so We're in Atlantic City. <laughs> Everything's okay. Um, this is going gonna to, be amazing in my scrapbook. As, as a bonus action, casts Misty Step. <laughs> Misty Step. Oh. Appearing 30 feet over here. Do I get to swing? No, because Misty Step is just, uh, it, it happens like immediately. Damn Misty and her steps. She like stands up and then vanishes in a swirl of, of, of vapor. Uh, appears a little ways away in the field and immediately just like, Shivamad, Shiv. Counterspell! Uh. Fifth level! Fuck it. <laughs> you would be able to because it has been your turn since you would have your, re your reaction back. So, yes, you could. Uh, so, go ahead and roll a d20. <laughs> Matt's like, old woman. Damn, you ruin oh, your counterspell! Oh <laughs> You're ruining my play. I'm playing more against these counters. I need a yeah, counter counterspell. It's, it's not good for it's you. It's not good for the old woman. Uh, 23. <laughs> so she. You might see that. Who is she? just starts bolting. This. That's the best running I've ever seen. <laughs> the little gate. Oh, trying to run away. The, the, the slippery wet grass. She's like kind of slips a little bit as she's trying to just get away now. I feel bad for you. I should have retired. Job's a that, job. <laughs> that ends her turn. Keyleth, you're up. Oh. Um, upon seeing Percy go absolutely insane and screaming, your soul is now forfeit. Yeah, um, yeah that did come out, didn't it? Out of <laughs> Sorry. shock, um, my anti-life shell kind of dissipates. <laughs> and I spend my action staring at him. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah. Wow. Well, for the role play, not the damage. <sighs> Broker's not getting a turn. Lilith, you're up. Okay. Uh, I would like to use Animate Dead on the Broker, please. <gasps> you, oh. you nasty woman, you. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 He's so happy about it. You can it. begin using it, because so. it, it, it take, it's a one minute casting time. Sure, okay. So you, so you, uh, mm. you, you have to get closer, because it's quite a ways away. Right, so. okay. You've got a naughty streak. <laughs> it's my family. Cannot, cannot uh, help it. Yeah, we'll, we'll say it. From there, you begin concentrating on animate that. You begin like pouring through and speaking in guttural tones that have multiple layers of tonality and, and volume. It's this weird, kind of strange symphony of discordant voices as she begins to speak. You can see now the uh, the bot, the, the smoking, ruined body of the broker begins to. Shift and twitch on its own. Um, so that'll conclude your turn, Lilith. Okay. Uh, Vex and Tiberius, you guys are up. Ha! You've got asshole. 
<laughs> I'm going to attack him with a bow. <laughs> bonk, Left him for you guys. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> I'm going to attack him. Uh, I'm shooting an arrow. Just with the bow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attack him with my entangle arrow. Okay. All right. The big guy? Yeah, the guy in the mask. He's the only yeah. one left, right? Yep. Oh, the old lady is still running away? No, no, no. Yeah. All right, I'll attack the guy in the mask. That old lady has to die. <laughs> That's a 28. Yeah, it definitely is. Fifteen plus whatever entangle, whatever. Alrighty, good enough. <laughs> and so, as you pull back the arrow, release it. Uh, there is that kind of uh, the way that you constructed it. It's this, this pouch of a very thick. Gooey. I mean, is this a spell or is this the actual arrow that was constructed by Percy? It's the arrow. Right, right, the one that he, he built. Yeah. yeah, so what it has is at the front of the arrow, um, it doesn't do any actual damage on the impact. Oh. Instead, what it does is it when it smacks into it, there's a, a, a pouch in the front that detonates from the impact and sends this very quick setting, thick, tar like glue substance That's cool. that just spatters across the body and lower torso and it kind of expands like a foam. <laughs> so all of a sudden, so there's, there's no it's damage like on that one. Yeah, nice. But, right, <laughs> and is currently grappled by it and it cannot move from its place. Awesome. And so I'll, um, I'll shoot another arrow at the other lady. Okay, go for it. Roll for an attack. I know she's running away, but she's bad guy. I didn't hit her, though. You're wrong. <laughs> a 16. <laughs> Funny. Uh, Arrow. Mages don't have a lot of armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even with mage armor, you manage to hit her square in the back. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, <laughs> I guess I won't go to my granddaughter's birthday. She goes <laughs> and stumbles and kind of catches up and gets back up, and you can see the arrow sticking straight up out of her back, <laughs> like like four inches in the back. Stop of her running, blade. Grandma! She's becoming. <laughs> Python sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel fun. I feel uh, happy. Trinket growls. <laughs> she just <laughs> yelps out as, as the giant you, bear kind of. Will you start running for us again, please? We get to her turn. <laughs> Saving it. Yeah, I'm gonna command Trinket to run after her. Okay. Uh, Trinket's moving. This is like an afternoon at the gym for us. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea? I don't know. Actually, I have it here. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't Trinkin's know. Trinkin's movement is 40 feet. 40 feet! I'm gonna write yeah, that down right Trinkin now. Yeah, as far as Trinkin can get right there. All right. Mm. I have no, a I did. I have, I have a little Trinkin cheat sheet. I have it, too. I just did. Oh, this is the okay. tiniest cheat sheet ever. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The littlest character yeah. sheet ever. Can you hold that up again? Yeah. Look how tiny it is. Look at Trinkin! Oh, that big bear and that tiny piece of bear. Scale and drop. Oh. Wait, the, the guy in the mask is prone? Guy in the mask is currently grappled. He is like, like his lower body is currently held in this weird tar-like substance. It's like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, trying to break free. So I only get one sixth level spell, but it says on iBite that every subsequent action I can use, use, I can do it again. You just choose somebody else to do it to, yep. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna do it to her again. To her or him? To the old lady again. You can see if you can do it to, to the, I can do it to her again. For another yes. creature, but can't target a creature again if it, oh, if it succeeded yeah, in a saving throw. Saved. You're right, oh, you're right, so she can. Yeah, what yeah, do you want to do? I think it's Tiberius' turn. So let him do his turn. He and I had the same initiative. Yeah, right. Oh, that's right, yeah, sorry. Well, then finish, finish, finish his turn. Oh, are you going to hold? Yeah. I just yeah. do whatever yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so he just waits waits for you to finish your bit. You can hold his turn. I'll just run up as far, as far as I need to to be within 60 feet and do it again to her. Through the old Yeah, she's within range. Cone. And what are you doing? <laughs> just fall asleep again. Hold Back to sleep. Uh, that is a 17. Nope. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Falls asleep on the ground with an arrow, with an arrow right out of the back. Uh, and you kind of acquiesce to Tiberius, it's your go. Uh, oh, and I'll inspire him. <laughs> with? Oh, with a musical fart. <laughs> That was a wonderful. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was a wonderful toot. <laughs> yes. And then, thank you. All right, D10. Uh, <laughs> 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 <Here you go. laughs> uh, where are you guys? D10. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> cool. What I'm gonna do is, and just 
Why not? I'm going to uh, Such a fuck go as far as I can yeah. towards the old broad. Uh, just <laughs> We're focusing so much on this poor old woman, and there's like big intimidating yeah, the mask guy. Poor old woman, she's an evil mercenary. Oh. She deserves to be taken out. But she's so I was just oh, trying to that, find there's my other yeah. <laughs> He hasn't taken any damage, has he? He's taken quite a bit of oh, damage. Oh, he's the guy hit with the fireball. Right? Don't, <laughs> don't be oh ageist. God. That is an evil bitch. She needs to be killed. Ageist. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tiberius, what are you doing? She's currently asleep on the ground. This guy's like. <laughs> He's already dead. Um, what are you doing? Uh, with, am I within 60 feet of the old, yes. old lady? Oh. It's pretty far still. I don't know if I am or not. Nope, she's just out of the range. I've right. fallen and I can't get, get her! <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, what, uh, but I am within 120, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to uh, look down and I'm going to pull up my crow blade and I'm going to throw it in the air and cast telekinesis on it. Okay. As you do, it catches itself spinning in the air up ahead of you. It's like strange, vibrating, high-pitched whine sound as the blades are spinning in rapid, rapid, rapid circular motion. And I'm gonna go, stupid bitch. <laughs> and I'm gonna huck it at the chick. Okay, go ahead and roll a spell attack roll. Well, she did try and kill us. She did. Yeah. Oh! Jesus. Uh, that's 31. Yeah, um, it's also a critical hit because she's currently asleep. Oh. So it's an auto crit. So go ahead and roll five d four, plus for all five a d four for each dagger on the spinning blade that's spinning at high speed, five plus five. Yeah. Crawl. So five d four times two plus five. Okay. Five d four times two plus five. Yep. Oh my god. So just, just roll five d four and then multiply that by two. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Times so twenty six plus five. That's thirty one points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the unconscious woman, face down on the ground, the blade <laughs> just tears through and grinds a large wedge out of her back, oh. um, spraying a bit of gore across the nearby grass. Uh, thankfully, she was asleep, so she probably didn't feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so fast. She but, made some bad choices. Uh, she is definitively gone. <laughs> we are being statistically. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll... I'll, and I'll Keep it. I'll, I'll bring it back to me, and I'll keep it hovered and just maintain the spell. Okay. And uh, I'm going to uh, bonus action misty step uh, towards where Grog is. Okay. That's my. All turn. right. Uh, I'll say, I'll say for the sake of, of, of brevity at this point, because you have a glued guy in the entire team, pretty much at full health here. Over time, you all kind of slowly gather around the guy who's glued to the ground, and he's uh, he's fighting at first. <laughs> And you see, like, kind of lowers his head, kind of giving into his fate. Smart to not test your fate, boy. Lilith, can I go play T ball with his head? I mean, no. Let him live. Let this permission. one live. What, we're letting people live now? At which point the head, <laughs> the head lives and goes, No! Kill me! Give me honor! Okay. Uh, I have fallen. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. I retract that. Crow <laughs> <Take, laughs> blade in the neck. Wait. 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 Oh. Wait. Wait. Ow! You just what fucking he wants. elbowed me right. You hit like Keyleth's funny bone. bone. Yes, yeah, right in the funny bone. Oh, no. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Grog, will you kill this guy so we can? If honor is what he wants, do not give it to him. Let him live. She's smart. Oh, She's smart. I like no. it. Oh, it cool. I yeah. walk up and I take his mask sorry. off. Okay, you you pull the mask off. Um, it's, it's a human. I know what to do, Scanlan. Oi! This is your moment. <laughs> Shit on his face. No, that's disgusting. Listen, but it's not just so... something I can do whenever. Who are you kidding? I have to be in the mood. The thing I need I've some heard. music, some nice lighting. I need to be wined and dined. He's been bitten. All right. My sister is right. Do it on his chest. <laughs> At which point, the old next, you, you pop the mask there. off, cool. and uh, from immediately beneath, he uh, reaches up and kind of covers the face. Is this the broker? Oh, the, no, no, this no, is no. the He's masked dead. guy. Um, oh, wow. yeah. The, uh, the mask, you can see the face beneath. It's humanoid, but right as you get past like the nose and the mouth area, it's all melted like a horrible acid burn. Like There's just severe damage to the face. It's kind of close. Kill me. 
It's all I have. Sorry, darling. You live. And it's like flexing and reaching out at you, but just can't quite get the range. It's going to attempt to try and. No, just cannot break free of that. As you're still concentrating on the spell, slowly the broker steps up. The eye is kind of rolled back in white. The giant wound in the chest kind of hobbles towards you. It was almost my turn. Can I throw Dacus at him? <sighs> no, she just no, no. reanimated him. You reanimated yes. him? Yes. Oh, then I talk to the broker. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As you pull your blade out, you see it kind of. She kind of commands and kind of gives a hand motion, and the broker kind of hobbles towards her. This is your thing. <laughs> sorry. My sisters, they sent you. They are still hunting me. Sisters. You you look down at this point, or is that the uh, the mark? That was mm-hmm. left in the chest has vanished. <gasps> um, upon the point of the broker's death, whatever enchantment was placed upon you that was keeping uh, you under his gaze was abolished. Return to Palak Lasterka and present yourself to my sisters. Let them see what good it will do them to hunt me. <sighs> Turns around and starts shambling. Oh, you got me, Hold on. And I, before, as he's walking away, I'm going to loot that dude. Take <laughs> shit off him, man. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead, anywhere. Give me this. <laughs> there is a mostly ruined set of studded leather armor that is enchanted. It's plus one. It's basic. Um, but it's need in serious repair as it currently has a large gaping hole in the chest area and uh, a, a vicious short sword. Ooh. A plus, one, plus one vicious short sword. Awesome. Vicious. Uh, as, as, as Tiberius is like pulling everything off of the corpse, is just trying to shamble away into the distance. Eventually, this kind of half-naked, ruined body of this tiefling begins stepping off into the night in uh, the What direct. about the old lady? It's gonna scare the shit out of uh, you. Off her? Uh, <laughs> the old lady. Yeah. We keep forgetting about it. Yeah. The old lady uh, has mostly a, a basic wand. Uh, it's a plus one wand. Uh, Here's a wand. Nice implement. Toss it back. Down one, Tibbs. Break, mark it down. Take it. No, 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 take it. Take it. Plus one wand of the war mage. Let's see what kind of wand um, is, I Plus guess. one wand of the war mage. War mage. Uh, a, uh, a simple uh, ring of protection. Yeah, 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 it's a ring. I take it. Put it on. For the time being. And uh, about roughly 320 gold. Sweet. Amongst the, uh, the two of them. At this point in time, the, the other guy's like kind of exhausted himself now, just still in places. You see the broker just vanish in the shadow, heading southward. Shall we throw him in the pen with the other guy? Hold on a second. No. Why would we keep this no. one around? Tell us now. There is no point. I would kill this man. And this would give me a good reason not to. I look at him and I ask, this, my, my sisters, they are responsible for this? Kind of gives you a look for a second. Okay. I've been this my whole life. They gave me purpose. I follow them. And you've hurt the mistresses. That is true. I did do something rather similar to Belenor's face. But they will not give you purpose. You are better out of their shadow. Trust me, I know. You should find better purpose for yourself. Go, be free. I doubt that they will trouble you anymore. Any persuasion rule? Plus. That's good. Plus zero. Still have my inspiration. Yeah, you have inspiration. Oh, inspiration. Plus ten. Can that make you feel good? Uh, Can that make you feel real good? Fifteen? Fifteen? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> the tension of the muscles eventually relaxes, and the head hangs. I know not what reason I live. You seem a capable fighter, yes? 
My cousin recently became member of the Slayer's Take in Vesselheim. Perhaps you would care to go find purpose in testing your skills there. And if not there, you can always fight in the Crucible. They look for nothing but strength and honor. Uh, at which point there's a large cracking sound as the hardened foam breaks from one leg. <clears throat> breaks the other leg free and stands there now before you. Your purpose in life is only what you realize. <laughs> <laughs> you can do Sorry? anything. You could be president of the United States. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> while this is going on, I'm writing on, on a piece of scroll right now. <laughs> I will walk and I will think. Perhaps I will drown. And he turns and starts just walking towards the shoreline on the other side to the west of the uh, <laughs> <laughs> Does this mean you're free from those who are hunting you? I am very much afraid not. This is but one of the attempts that my sisters have made to find me. However, I have no intention of returning to my home. And what was the name of your homeland again? It sounded very exotic. Halek Lasterka is the seat of my family. We go back a very long way. But... Uh, I would not recommend that you visit there. It's not the most cheerful place. Uh, not the worst friendly, eh? Not particularly welcome, no. I've heard some terrible things about, um, what is it, your father, is it, or is it your uncle, your uncle? My, my family in general have interesting, uh, Attitudes towards uh, affection, shall we say. My sisters, well, you, you see, I am not particularly cut out for making good first impression. However, my sisters did always tell me that what was inside was most important. They did tell me this as they were removing intestines to divine with them, so perhaps maybe not uh, usual meaning of this phrase, but, uh, well, Zara is perhaps uh, the member of my family that I like best. <laughs> Understandably, yeah, we all have those. Mm. All small. we care about is deeds, <laughs> proving yourself. It's because you're that one. <laughs> oh, great depth today. I believe in this circumstance I pale to my present company. I have heard many wonderful things about you from Zara, and I am honored to not only have met you, but also to have had your aid in this matter. I am profoundly grateful. If there is ever any opportunity at which I can return the favor, I am not useful for much, but perhaps a little smoke and mirrors, I can do. Just I would actually like to know how you keep your horns so shiny and clean. The cold wind picks up as the night air begins to come. <laughs> a distant storm blowing over the horizon to the northeast. Um, the time draws late and cold. Lilith, would you like to stay the night before you move on? If I would not put you at any... Not even a little. Please, have dinner with us. Then it would be my pleasure. And we head back to the keep. All right. And I go in the back into the garden, and I take the gliss foil out of my pocket that I was given, and I kind of revive it from its dried state that it was given to me in, and plant it in the ground. All right. And as the twins are walking, I say, I, I guess, I mean, I, clearly I'm eating shit here today. I guess mm -hmm. I'm going to make a promise not to straight from the side. Remember that promise. I promise. I lick uh, Tiberius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that feels like. And that, that will be our freeze frame credit high five for the evening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Nice job, kid! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah.
you so much. Thank you so much for guesting with us this evening and for coming out and visiting us here. In the Thank you so much for having me. We've had an absolutely amazing week and Oh, it's really nice to speak in my own accent again. <laughs> <laughs> Your accent, good. We yeah, enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, good. Oh, thank nice. you. Thank you. Uh, no, it's it's been absolutely amazing. Um, it really has been an honour, and uh, you will uh, definitely be probably seeing me again in LA because this was this was wonderful. So thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. And everybody, check her out on Twitter. Yes. Do it. What's your Twitter? Uh, my Twitter is anemone t dot uh, not even dot com, just anemone t. It's that simple. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. I know uh, Travis and Laura have to run to yes, uh, get, get, get a plane flight. You guys go, rock it out, yeah. safe flight. Sure our stuff is put away. Yeah, I'll All right. it out. Yeah. Yeah. enjoy. You guys are off to a wedding. To a wedding. Wedding. Oh, oh and we're, our anniversary is tomorrow. Oh, snap! Oh, oh, happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! All right, all right, go, go. Bye. Travel safe. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. I love you guys. Bye, Bye. 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 Can I hold your mug? I want to see what it feels like. <laughs> wow. Look at the size Still of got some booze in there if you want to take a slurp. Uh, yes. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> all right, so uh, as a note, uh, just so you guys are aware, we had, we had, a, we had a contest yesterday uh, about 5.30 in the afternoon, during one of the streams, we had everyone who is currently present in the chat room uh, be part of this, this this random drawing, and the winner was a David Kingsbury. David, David Kingsbury! Kingsbury. Kingsbury. Won the opportunity yeah, the to, the to provide uh, the name and essence of an NPC in our campaign. Oh! Uh, Roker is actually uh, their construction. Oh! oh. Amazing! Ro awesome. Roker was designed by one of our, our viewers, one of our Thank creators. you for the target practice. Oh. Yeah! That Thank was you awesome. so much! Sorry, nice. That is so cool! That's amazing! We're hoping, we're, hoping day. Work. we're hoping to do stuff like that every now and then in the future to bring in some, some critters to throw a little awesome. creative mind in here That's and we can incorporate oh, yeah. a character oh into our world. Oh my god, I'm so, exhausted. Uh, so thank you. Me too. Um, My heart's been going on my element that entire game because no DM wants to have to kill a player. I was like on the verge of bawling my eyes out. Yeah, oh my I God. mean, I thought we were fine. The, what, I have so I much stress what happened, on my shoulders. If I ever died, I thought, and I still think I'll probably be the first, but if I ever died, I thought it would be more like a bus accident. Like I just go, and that'd be it. I didn't think the doctor would look at me and say, I'm sorry, you have one week to live. And the whole week I've been, you know, yeah. sweating. Yeah, it's pretty harsh. Sweating. Uh, That's amazing. The internet has been very vocal about their... <laughs> yeah, thanks guys for keeping the, <laughs> the pressure on. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well that was awesome. Um, uh, oh, uh, hello, hello, welcome. Ryan. Awesome job. Yeah. So, Another person's been enjoying on some mad adventures this week. <laughs> All right. Oh, donations. Donations, donations. Oh my god. Hold on, I have to get to the right page. Oh my god. Keep on flying in. Indeed, indeed. By the time you get out of here, we're just gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Rush. Yeah, absolutely. I, I completely agree. All right. I'm starting. All right. Starting here. All right. Uh, we have fantastic donations. Ray two six from uh, Sudaban. Thank you so much, Sudaban. To send from Grace and Meg the Dreamer. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for donating. Uh, Chow Dragon, Kurt Cole, and Three Bulls. Team of three awesome individuals. Thank you so much. Keyless left big toe. Donated. What? Congrats on one, that one. One toe is bigger than the other. Yeah. It's the so, one that hasn't killed a guy. Uh, Main Ogre donated as well as Kurt Cole again. Thank you guys so much. That's incredible. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, Sorry. Penny Lane and Supalot also donated. Thank you guys Super tremendously Penny for that. Uh, William TW and X Dragon Rider X. X Dragon X. Guys, again, thank you so much for donating. Helping support 826 uh, LA. Uh, Patatj36 and, yeah. and Sin City Minion also donated tonight. Thank you guys so much. Oh man, we got a the, the, yeah. There's a couple pages. Yeah, that's cool. We'll get through. We'll get through. <laughs> We're doing our best. Uh, Thanks, guys. Borland Wist, uh, Dave, uh, David, 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 Thank you guys so much. Four hundred four invalid file name returns once again with Lunchbox MSN. Thank you guys. Lunchbox MN, not MSN. That's a whole different thing. Thank you so much. That's incredible. Lunchbox. Salazar Jack and Genie two three four three also coming back some donations. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Rakshasa Jazz Hands. Oh. Followed up by Killer Penguin, also coming in again, guys. Thank you so much. Killer Penguin. Not the See penguin. you guys again. Uh, this is Boner Town. 
We're Town. Boner Town. Boner Town. Uh, see you again, Boner Town. Uh, Norky Lad, also coming back here with the Mikhail. Both of you guys, thank you so much for your donations. That's, that's amazing. Uh, I Coin Critters, and a little Smurfy one, and Emperor Cow Cow, and Clean It 666, which I'll now intentionally ruin. It's just a fun dynamic we have now. You guys are all incredible. Thank you so much for donating. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, MCV5005 also returns with another donation. Uh, followed up by uh, Nuciferia158269. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. We have Smiles underscore underscore and Gator Kane <laughs> also rocking in there with some nice, I don't know what that was, uh, donation punches. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing, guys. Yeah, uh, take that, 8268. Yeah. <laughs> Podge, 62180, and Gelatinous Dude also. Good to see you guys oh, yeah. again. Thank so you so much for your donations. Bye, 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 bye. Key to My City, and Beard Check, and Hebrew Hammer, uh, Hebrew Hammer Elite. Nice. Come in with some donations. Thank you so much. You guys are so awesome. Uh, McKay14, Fatsuno, and the Mikhail again returns with a second donation, and possibly even more than that for this evening. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate that. As with the kids at 826LA, as you saw, you finally got a chance to actually see them and, and, yeah, and the reaction. Amazing. It was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Le Lexian, J Colony72, and Little Ray113. Oh my god, Little Ray <laughs> donated $1,000. What? Whoa. Hashtag humanism. Humanism. That's amazing. And it was Critical the person last time that just said yeah. hi. Oh, it's so, the same person? So, hi again, it hi is! Again. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, hi. You're amazing! It's the person that keeps amazing. just saying hi. They just say hi. Yeah. And then this hi. time it's hi, hi again. Hi. hi. What an amazing what a donation. Much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like a UFO being hailed. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're amazing. Uh, Once again. Okay, so I know one, one thing is that, um, of course, this happens every week because of subscribers. Yes. It's, subscribers are what keep this channel going. They're extremely important to all of us here. Um, so if you guys haven't subscribed, it's five bucks. Like, that's a sandwich. That's a latte. Yeah, it's and latte. that's one night of Critical fucking Roll. This is amazing. Oh, wait, critical that's, that's four, four nights. Critical that's four nights of Critical fucking Roll. roll. <laughs> that's four nights of And I've had some pretty bad latte. Four nights because it's a month. It's a month, you're right. That's yeah. four nights of Critical it's really Roll. It's so not that bad. Do you want one sandwich or four episodes of Critical hey, Roll? I mean, come on, guys. Really? Guys, back off. That's like, that's like, <laughs> that's a minimum of 12 hours of entertainment yeah, right there. Minimum. That's, a, yeah. that's a decent we, video game. We are a weekly D&D show. Doesn't ex exist um, quite like this. Other than that, in oh, addition, there's some, some great ones out there. Yeah. In addition to the critical role, that's also four weeks of fantastic programming that we do. We do. We have probably Monday through Friday, two shows a day, with special features coming in for subscribers that includes emojis, access to our Minecraft server, and a bunch of other exciting An amazing show called Crowd Control on Monday that you should check out too. <laughs> there you go. Orion may or not may not be in. That may have been shameless self-promotion. We don't know. I mean, go I, check it out. And I, never do that. I never do that. It's hard and, to say. And no bullshit. Our, our sincerest gratitude. We, we, every week, we cannot believe that we're doing this, that we get to do this, and we're happy to do it, and, and thank you very, very much. Yeah. The, the fact that it resonates with this community and you guys have been so incredible this whole time, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's inspiring, and it's one of those things that gets you through the hard points, the hard moments, you know? So exhausted, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, the story is exhausted, Percy. Guys, seriously, thank you so much for all your support, for coming and watching the show, and telling your friends about it, and and coming to watch us roll dice and nerd out for a while, because uh, we get to share it with you guys. Yes. And we'll see you at New York Comic Con. Or and I'll maybe. I'll see you in Anchorage this weekend if you're. Good. That's you're right. Anchorage. Oh, you're going to Anchorage. Anchor I'm flying to Anchorage. Oh, you didn't say Steve, that. he's gonna be in Anchorage. Yeah. yeah oh, no, sure. that's there you go. that's right. Steve. Yeah. I just I'm assuming. Assuming there's a Steve. In Anchorage? Sure. There's yeah. actually there's a Matt in Anchorage. I've been at our Matt. We have fans in Anchorage. You know, Eagle fans. You should go say hi to Percy. You can console him. Kit. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I was going to say, I mean, speaking of traveling a long distance, I mean, yeah. Kit came from <laughs> London All yep. the way to be from here. Sacramento. That's Kit Boost? Yeah. <laughs> from Sacramento. No. All the way from Sacramento. <laughs> Kit, Kit who, who spearheaded the designs for all the characters and set the art design kind of theme for the world and has done so much incredible art for us and uh, is kind of our, our uh, I mean, honorary, our, our, our official uh, purveyor and, and, and director of, of the visual style of the show. It's awesome. I've got about, I've got about a okay. thousand pieces of fan art and 90 
7.2% of them are inspired by the character designs that kid did. And now someone else has to draw some Lilith pictures for her. <laughs> oh, yes. That, that's been happening. Oh, goodness, yes. That's been happening. So you getting a fan art now, girl. Oh yep. my goodness. I have arrived. It's very metal. <laughs> <laughs> all the artists that did all the, yeah. Yeah, no. Eventually, we're, the internet's just going to fold on itself at that point. <laughs> uh, but no, kid, kid, thank you so much for coming. I'm glad you're able to come and join us and jump in for a session. It was a lot of fun having you. Thank I you so in much for letting me. Ermager Kurtberg. Ermager. <laughs> And uh, yeah, well, um, UK people, like if we could meet up in London and, and sit and have proper tea, not like they have here in the States, that would be amazing. Oh, Let's do it. No, it's true. We, no, it's, it's true. we do. Oh, it's great. Like yeah. We also have whiter teeth because of it. If you like that sort of thing. Yeah. Are you going to be at any cons like coming up yourself over there? Um, I might be at uh, London Comic Con in an unofficial capacity, just sort of floating about. Well, keep so. an eye out. But say hi. Don't like just follow her from twenty feet away for the whole time because <laughs> yeah. then they call yeah, security and they don't let you come that's back. Her. That's her. She's uh, right that there. That would be weird. Yeah. Never mind that. I've never done that before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, uh, guys. What else to say? It's amazing. Uh, we'll be back next week to continue. Oh wow. Wherever this goes from here, that's, huh. that's, that's totally you guys. Still, not Still alive. Still yeah. alive. Still alive. <laughs> Doubters. We I've been so it. scared, man. Hashtag I was so scared this whole week. Yeah. 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 Like, I knew I was ready for it. I mentally prepared myself because, yeah. honestly, jumping out of that room was probably the best thing you could have done at that point. If you had, if you had managed to stay, uh, even one more round. They're it dicks. Really they're really, they're that dicks. Really they're yeah. terrible. Yeah. Those are terrible people. Even, even still, it was, I mean, that guy could have kept Scorsese kicking me in the ribs and I'd have been in trouble, so. I've had them sitting in my head for three years, and they weren't that awful. You do, you do owe a little bit to uh, Seeker Asum next time you see him, because he was the one that kind of peeled away from you at the very beginning. I'm sure he had a great plan that would have made things much safer, but you know, he did. I'm an idiot. He had quite a plan. Yeah. Uh, but you didn't show up, so uh, yeah. that's what happened. And then, and then God laughed. <laughs> Curiosity <laughs> almost killed the cat. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, unless we have anything else we want to no, mention, I think you know, I could use some sleep. I felt like yeah. three hours of sleep oh, every God. night. Oh, nice. I have to get on a plane. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.